Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisha. Let's shout a little bit. So, I haven't fully decided if I want to go for the bonus dungeon. Honestly, it's it's literally 100% because of the fact that you have it's just RNG to get into it. I really I really really hate that by nature. I'm really not going to lie. I think that is one of the dumbest choices I've seen in a while. It reminds me of kind of a a a less visually offensive version of the Tales of Eternia RNG dungeons or the tale of uh Fantasia actually dungeon of thor it reminds me of that i don't know why people think it's a good idea to do that i think that definitely sours the mood for me a little bit knowing that i'm basically really not ever going to see this content because i tried it for like 20 something attempts and it didn't go through and honestly i don't think i'll really get much out of doing it so i'm gonna put that as a big maybe I just don't feel like wasting your time and my time for the most part. Unless there's some like guaranteed way I can get it in like less than 10 tries. I just find it tedious going back and forth waiting for it to trigger. So definitely will sour my opinion of the game by the time we talk about the review. But anyway, I guess we're good to go in terms of starting the game itself. It's kind of one of those things that will stop me from wanting to like fully enjoy it. I don't know. My opinion of the game from the first half compared to the second half is also very different. I'm not liking the second half of the game so much. I thought the first half was mostly fine. It just needed escape magic. This last half though, I don't know. Very, very questionable difficulty. Okay, so if I want to do the bonus boss, I need to level, so I might as well just advance the plot a little bit. I haven't decided if I want to... I could go back to that other island and try to get XP, but I don't think I have more XP boosts. So the most I could really do is... Like, in theory, what I could do is Orb of Power could be removed from Cowboy, it could be given to Girl, and Hunter just needs a level to survive. So in theory, I could have enough HP. I haven't decided at this point if it's worth getting rid of this. It might be worth getting rid of at this point for something else. It might be better just to leave him with the force unit just so he could use his ability faster, for example. I mean, he's got over 3k health. I don't think I need that much more, to be honest. Okay, so we have to figure out where the game wants us to go. I think there was the castle to the southeast. It's around here somewhere. Could go back in here if I want to. I'm assuming it wants me to go here. Oh, how finicky are you? I was gonna say. Pandemonium, that's a good sign. I mean, I don't think I'm really going to get that much XP from random encounters. It's more just killing bosses at this point for levels. Lots of minotaurs, it looks like. The blue door. Mind gem acquired. What does that do exactly? Cover MP over time. Uh, That makes more sense if I'm playing her in a supportive role. Right now, I don't think it makes sense to do. Fighting fairy lights, okay. Honestly, Meteor Dive has just been so good to me. Hmm. I think 
I feel like using here? I mean, I guess I could just Kirk plus plus to see if they have a weakness to something. They don't have a weakness to physical, or don't have a resistance to physical at least. Yeah, and they don't have resistances, so that was the easy kill. So it'll still take like 10 plus encounters in order to level, but if I just take encounters normally, I might get the level that I need. Oh, I, th I, th I thought it was for the tier because I'm used to seeing that icon. Oops, I guess it being a switch makes more sense. Ducks and Karens, okay. I don't know what it is that we're fighting. Anyway, I should have enough magic carrots to last me the game, so MP recovery doesn't matter so much for me. Ooh, I was hoping to at least kill two with that. Welcome, Chris. Okay, we did get two. Sux is restless, apparently. Well, Sux is about to get murdered, so I don't think it really matters what Sux wants. Are we doing money wise? Only 50,000? Hmm. Make a berry acquired. We already found a save point? This must be a very short dungeon, especially compared to the last ones. I'm like, remember the monstrosities of those mazes, how long it took to get through and like, or like the multi-floor tower. I, I got there in like three rooms. Strange contraption seals the door. Okay, I can't do anything with that. May or maybe I have to come back this way. Maybe it's like I go up and then go down. Hope you're doing well, Chris. We're taking random encounters because I want a little bit of money and XP. Shh. Oh. Hunter says Elmina! Alhazad, what's going on? I thought Elmina was one of you. One of us, yes. An important part of the plan. I can't have any more intrusions. Trask, take care of my friends for me. So I guess we got the real reveal of the character's name. Turtle power, by the way, chat. I mean, that was a very abrupt boss battle, I'm not gonna lie, but I guess we'll phaser him in the face. We'll try a trickster. I don't even think I have to play that defensive, honestly. I might just go hyper aggressive here. I'm just thinking about it if I want to do anything else. Maybe I do uh, Doki Angie on Hunter and just play aggressive. Has nothing, okay. I could probably defense down him if I need to later. Yeah, like he did literally zero damage to me. I don't think I care. So we'll get the guaranteed damage bonus before I switch over to anything else. So I guess I'll just slash rave him, and then we'll try to wide open him. Like, oh no, I took 268 damage. That did not do that much damage. Hopefully with this it'll do more. Did you seriously just defense up after I wide opened you? That is so... That is so rude. <laughs> right, chat? That was the whole point of the move. Do it again. I'm not going to heal her unless she goes under 2,000, to be honest with you. I'm just going to keep attacking. And so naked it is... Is that his thing? That he just punishes shield with wide open? 
I didn't think the game had react abilities before, unless this is like the world's most heinous RNG. I'm gonna try one more time, and if he does it again, I'm convinced it's a reaction. Because we've seen it before. Bosses will sometimes just spam things over and over. So if he immediately counters with shield... He didn't. Alright, well, tell him to get wrecked then. He's about to take big damage. Goodbye. Right chat, goodbye. Where's your defense now? Glad you're doing okay. <clears throat> no turtle power for you. Only 6,000 experience, but a decent amount of gold. No, Hunter, it's a trap! <clears throat> Too late, my princess! Sh oh, what is this? I can't move. We've been bubbled. <clears throat> How beautifully these humans behave. So much waste in their efforts. You folks need to keep quiet during our event. Damn it, this is all my fault. I wonder if everyone's alright. They'll be fine. Let's get out of here. You could get through there. It's all yours, Hanpon. Oh. I'm playing as Hanpon. Locked. Hanpon time chat. So there's two exits. Where does this other one go? There's another the victim of the demons. Locked. What was the point of coming here? There's no items to interact with? Oh, I'm disappointed. It didn't have to be anything crazy, but really? There was no payoff for going this way? It's not even like I could open the door to then do stuff. Do you know what I mean? Disappointing. Wow, Hanpon living the no encounter life. Why can't we always play as Hanpon? True. So I didn't find a key, which is where I thought it was going with that. There's another hole there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the drips. So I, so, so I have to let them out at some point. I think that's why the camera swap is happening. Oh my god, how big, how big is this place? Why is the jail bigger than the dungeon? <laughs> what is going on? There we go. Hunter's gonna do all the work next time. Labor laws also apply to rats, you know. Or rat in a maze, pretty much. Hey, there you are. Are you all right? You worry about me? How sweet. All the locks are unlocked. It's all up to you, Hunter. It means Cowboy and the Princess may be on the move as well. wonder what they could be doing. Let's go, Hanpon. Um... Magic Carrot acquired. It's a save in there. Prisoner must have been here a long time. Bull equip acquired. I think I got the only item left. See, so, uh, I, I don't know if there's gonna be like another town upgrade or whatever. So it might be worth saving up money for that. I don't think I need to level up any of my weapons. 
I think phaser is good, like, unless I get like a million new weapons right at the end. But even then, like, do I really need it when I have phaser and rocket launcher? I feel like they're gonna do what I need them to do. What in the heck is going on with this dungeon? Can I drop down from here? No. So he might need the other place to be lowered. Okay. At least it seems like there's no random encounters, because if they did that, I would be very cross with the game. I think we talked about this before. I don't like doing puzzles and having to deal with encounters at the same time. Oh, we got a lucky card. Okay, so that can up with XP later. We're clearly not going to use it on any boss here, because they're not anywhere near as good as the other choices. Oh, well, never mind. Take it back. Screw this. Of course. I am so happy he has the, the anti-ailment item on. If that had stunned me and I got a game over chat, I absolutely would have rage quit. I'm just letting you know. I absolutely would have quit playing the game on the spot if it stunned Cloud me in a solo encounter. That is such BS. 18,000 experience. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Still not as good as going to the island, but, you know, he's close to leveling at least. Secret sign acquired. Um... Divide Shot was so good in the arena. I guess I can make Slash Rave cheaper. Or Phaser Zaps. Honestly, Meteor Dime being one has been like my MVP. I basically have not found a reason to use anything over Meteor Dive because of the cost and the fact that it just does what I need it to do. It's so rare that I need him to use like an AoE with our setup. So yeah, there is nothing in here. I don't care if he gets levels this way. That'll help us. The Magic Herod acquired. He's been dead for a while. So we're gonna go back up this way, which I think is a locked door, but we're just gonna make sure the door is still locked. And if not, we'll move on. Yeah, I guess we never used this ability before. I'm assuming it does decent damage. Eh. At least we should level off of this. Oh, or not. Never mind. Not not that good XP. Can't do anything yet with that. And again, him getting solo XP is fine. He's one of the characters that, like, genuinely needs the level. Is there anything else I could do that I haven't done? I haven't gone in here. Okay, this should level him. So him getting over 3,000 is important to survive the other boss. So I think right now he could barely survive. And that's before considering any other stat adjustments he might have had in terms of magic resistance. So we need 86,000 more to level. We're at 87,000 in money. That's not a bad place to be. I can feel it's sorrow, apparently. What can she do? Oh, she's still poisoned. That's annoying. Have her learn about fringing. She'll teach herself fringing real quick. I swear, chat, if I... You know what? I'm going to go back to this character. Can we just save so I don't have to redo any of that? Oh. Oh, I should have left it at the save point. That's so unfortunate. I'm really worried we're going to fight that stupid Hydra thing and I'm going to game over for no reason. Oh. What it? Oh, okay. So maybe it hits. Maybe it works on all the other doors. It's like a on-off switch in uh, Mario terms. So I mean, maybe I could go this way now. Yes. So we could see where the boy is. I could see some items I'd like to acquire. And that requires the boy to get them. Hmm. 
Oh okay, yeah, so before we go this way, which we can do by switching back to the girl, is there anything else I could do with this character? And again, this fight would normally be like absolute game over territory. I'm worried with how often it's appearing. Yeah, see that? It always goes for Stun Cloud. That's such BS. I'm so glad he's immune. I might even put a uh, stun immunity on the other characters, honestly. I really don't want to get into like an unwinnable encounter. It'd be such a dumb way to game over. Like, this is a good fight for me only because I did the bonus arena. If I did not do the normal arena, I would have game overed here, I'm pretty sure. Just so Chad is fully aware, like, he has the status immunity thing on. And that's why he's not taking damage, thanks to full Libra. Because I would have had, like, four turns to shake out of it, maybe. Ah, so I did need to do this first. That's a good sign. So I think everybody is just going to go to the same point. I love how it's like, I wonder what the others are doing, and we're all just psychically linked. We all just know to wait by specific points. This music's all build up, no payoff. Right, chat? Ba 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 ba. She could go this way now. So we needed that for later. Did she do anything now? She might be going to the end of the maze. Yeah, I had a feeling she's going to the end of the maze. It, it just kind of had one of those feelings where I, I kind of doubt she could have done more with her tools. It's more of a meta decision than anything else. So I need these two to somehow meet up in the future. It might mean completing the maze. And I already lowered that, because I did that earlier. Please don't be the other thing that causes paralysis. Alright, uh, that's fine. So here's an example of where Prism Ray is paying off for the upgrade. Which it states surprisingly relevant. It's never like top tier versus bosses. So it's like just slightly too weak there. The counterattack should kill everything. So I could switch over to uh, Rocket Launcher if I want. Mind damage? Is he trying to steal my MP? Or it might have been something else. I'm not really sure. Well, anyway, I'm going to shoot him in the face. Thank you, hand cannon. That's what you're there for. Yeah, Cowboy doesn't need more levels, I don't think. He's good because he's got the HP booster. What? Wait, why is he in a boss battle? Wait, this feels kind of unfair. Am I getting like a legitimate boss battle for just turning the corner? What was my warning that there was a boss battle here? Thankfully, I'm not in I'm not injured because this is kind of BS. Demon Prophet says, I am your captor and seer. No one escapes my vision. I punish those who try to escape and I reward those who are obedient. Now go back to your cell. No. Well, okay. Cowboy will be flamed. How much is this going to do? That did an insane amount for a single battle. Uh, this is a problem. I was not expecting a battle here at all. Or else I would have switched over to something different for solo. I don't think I can win this. He's doing too much damage. I I think I just game over here. That kind of blows. Uh -oh. we wow, that felt 
pretty damn unfair. Wow, I gotta redo the whole thing. Wow. Wild arms, fucking please. What was that? You're making me fight in a dungeon with all stun clouds, and then you just have a random boss that I don't know how hard it's gonna be unless I check it. Wow, that is so fucking terrible. I don't I don't want anybody to defend this. This is bullshit. This dungeon is bullshit. I am voting this is one of the worst dungeons we've been in so far. Easy. No comparison. Make sure I got that item. What a horrible selection of enemies to have for solo encounters. Actually stupid. Wow. If he even just did like 800 damage, I would have been fine. But it's like, you won't really know until you do the battle. And then you don't know if it's required. And then you're never quite sure if it's a joke battle. Because the game has those. So stupid. Well, anyway, I gotta go redo this entire puzzle, because of course. So that's, that's, that's cute. There's just a boss battle for no reason. Or I have to waste time backtracking to the beginning. Like, either way, that's just a shitty situation to be in. Like, let's say he put me, it let me go backwards. Unless... Unless I'm supposed to bring, like, the full party there. Like, was that the intent that that would have been the three-man battle? And if so, why would that be the thing that's before the place that I need to go? Why wouldn't they put that afterwards? That's so stupid. I'm, I'm so disappointed right now, chat in the game. I cannot even begin to express how stupid that was. Very, very disappointed in the game. Guess I'll make Cosmic Nova cheaper. The magic carrot acquired. I sadly have to now regain my level, which really sucks. Use the heal berries. Yeah, it's not like we could buy the mega berries yet or anything. <sighs> Redo this. I'm so disappointed, chat. <laughs> this is absolutely going in the review in the spoiler section. This was garbage. Alright, so now he can advance. Dare I even play as this character yet? I don't think I do. I think I just save again. Just in case there's another stupid stun cloud monster and playing as the other characters. Might as well as check. So we had to lower that. Stupid. The, dis the disappointment chat is like 11 out of 10 right now. Okay, that is, that is officially put me not in the mood to do the bonus dungeon today. That was so stupid. <laughs> I might as well just delete it from the title. I already didn't like the concept of it wasting my time, and then it decided to waste my time in the main story itself. Wow. When I start comparing your gameplay to Fantasia, that's not a good sign. Just want you to know, Chad. We're at the point where I'm considering comparing this to Thor. Like, l my levels of annoyance with the game is on par with Fantasia right now. Stupid waste of time. It's not even hard. This is literally just busy work. It like just arbitrarily went, ha ha, we killed you. Wasn't that fun? Isn't that great game design? I love it. Chat, these are things that like, when they exist in the NES and, and like Super NES, I am so glad most modern games do not do this. Like this is the exact example of stuff I look forward to never seeing again. I'm going to see if I could just crisp this thing out of existence. 
All right, so it has some immunity. What would it be immune to? I'm gonna guess that it's weak to health leave. Yeah, if the enemy has any resistance, sadly it it's immune to health leave. Uh, okay. Yeah, so sadly, the way the multi-elements seem to work is if it has resistance to one thing, it's immune to all. I would not have thought light would have been the solution there, but that's fine. I see a green shiny thing. I do not think light magic is its weakness. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe earth. I feel like that was color deception. Well, we know not to go up because I just get screwed over for no reason. So we're not going to go that way. And if I have to go back to the start, I'm still going to be pissed off. <laughs> but yeah, very disappointing for me so far. What happened to the last half of this game? What happened to like the interesting character swaps? Like we're kind of getting it back in this dungeon a little bit. But like, seriously? With some of these enemy choices? At least we're getting a couple of revive fruits. That's like the only positive thing is we, we now have more revives in case we need them in other battles. We're back up to full two full revives, which I would need only for bonus bosses basically. So we're not going to go up because the game will just screw me for no reason. Yeah, thanks game. <laughs> right chat? Stupid. Okay, so it wanted us to do this, I think. How far is he from leveling? Okay, so he needs one more random battle at some point. Because I would like him to level like he was before. Seriously, you're now now you're now not going to give me an encounter to level? Seriously? It's like the only time I want the level before the party comes. Thank you. Because if it's the stun monster, I'd rather he solo it. Oh, it's whatever these are. Disappointing. Oh no, we're being icicle disastered. Not a lot of money. How much money am I back up to after that nonsense occurred? About the same. Okay. Now everybody's back together. Let's go back to the bombable wall. Because maybe I'll get something interesting out of it. And I might have forgotten an item because I forgot that we did- Oh no, we got lucky card, okay. Just want to make sure we still got lucky card. Press, press, Ambrosia. Ambrosia is decent. That'll help, I think, if we do the bonus boss. Because that's the full heal. I don't think I'll need it for the main story. So yeah, if the, if the enemy ever has no resistances, the Chris spell out damages everything that we have, but it's risky without knowing the enemy weaknesses. So this is a way to also check, kind of like her quest plus doesn't do damage sometimes. I thought originally it was due to magic resistance, and then eventually I realized that it, was, it had to do with spell resistance. Because I didn't think the game was that punishing if you had seven elements and one of them is resisted that all were resisted, but... I'm 100% sure that is the case since we used the Chris spell. Okay. Right. So what's... Is there a point to going backwards at all? So we could go there. There's also stairs going upwards. Make sure we're at full health. Try this again. I don't want to leave the dungeon.
But at least now I have AoE heal. There's also like another room. I'm not sure if it leads anywhere or if this is like the actual exit. I guess we'll find out. Do Trickster. We're going to do... Hmm. Probably wide open. Has nothing, of course. Trickster is so bad in this game, chat. It, it has had one purpose this entire run, and that is to get duplicators. And see, this is only a single target spell, so this is pretty easy for me to deal with comparatively. I think chat can agree. teach about fringing and now we're able to output a lot of damage per turn L size masquerade I did like no damage I'm not even gonna bother healing that to be honest with you I might just use a bullet clip here just because I think that gun is just so much stronger than what we have uh I'll try to doggy angry hunter and see what happens Yeah, that did no damage. Phaser Zap just seems better. I haven't been impressed with the multi-hit damage still. I've been trying to see if it works, but honestly, it's been really bad. Meanwhile, like, this character could just do whatever in one shot. So I'll try one more time, and then we're gonna heal, I think. So this is it. Defense down and multi-strike damage. Did okay damage. Oh, we got another turn before me. It's kind of annoying. I shouldn't die from this, but it's fine. This should do a lot of damage to him. You can see the end of this fight. It is no... Not me! Blonk. Cowboy went up a level. 36,000 money acquired. So Cowboy being slightly tankier is good. So I'm assuming that's the exit. So what's the other path then? What's this? Yeah, we didn't go through here, for example. Oh, it just leads to the switch. There's nothing else to do in here. Never mind. Disregard. I forgot that was where we came out of with the mouse. Okay, so that was the only way we could go. Um. I guess we just leave, unless I feel like I forgot something. Not sure why that didn't work the first time, to be honest with you. So all that was just a big detour to go here. I mean, I might as well just leave then, right? And just heal. Is it worth re-challenging any bosses? She hasn't leveled. Hunter is leveled. So he could probably survive. Cowboy already can survive without the HP boost. Possibly the extra force is useful. I definitely feel like if I don't need to heal... Oh, we can't even escape. Never mind. Unless I warp out of here with magic. It's fine, we'll continue the dungeon. Uh, Yeah, we'll just Kirk plus plus. So again, this would be another battle where the crisp spell would do damage. I just need the AoE version of it, though. 
How's our money looking total? 120, right? 120. Okay. It's probably enough. It's probably gonna be like, oh, you need 100,000 to get another upgrade here. Here, have a here, have a crappy monument or something. I feel like the game is gonna do that. And I'm gonna roll my eyes. And it'll, you know what? It'll probably reward me from completing it. It will just be a bad reward. It'll be like, look at this. We found something when we go went to repair the, the festival area or whatever. Here's another rune or whatever. It's probably some garbage defense item. I, I have no faith this item will be good, chat. Like, I don't think it'll give me attack power. I don't think it'll give me magic. It'll be defense. It won't even be speed. Speed would be ideal. I don't think the game would give that to me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, chat. I have no faith in the game. Faith is gone. Oh, Beezlebub is here. Well, time to shoot Beezlebub. Uh, just use hand cannons for now. I'm assuming it's maybe resistant to dark. Let's find out. If not, it's about to die really fast. It was not resistant to dark, GG. That was just rude. Doing okay MP wise. I just have another carry for the girl, maybe, and Hunter. Should be fun. I mean, I got like 22 of them, and I have until the end of the game to use them. Oh, you can change their formation. I don't think I've ever bothered with that. Um... Well, we know they're weak to Dango. Do I have any other holy attacks? I don't think I do. Anyway, if handgun doesn't kill... Well, hopefully handgun kills here. So we're still taking some advantage of handgun, I guess. Another revive fruit acquired. Not that I think I need it for the most part. Its name is Shazam, really? In just a little while, the black tear will rain down on the land. The end draws near for this planet. Well... I still have a decent amount of bullets. We're gonna go for... Probably Dogi Angi. Honestly, I've not been having a lot of faith in defense down. I think the game has shaken the faith. So we're gonna Dogi Angry and see what we get here. did a pretty big amount of damage. I think I'm gonna go for Phaser Zap, and then I'm gonna go for Wide Open here. Okay, that did good, that did good damage. So Phaser Zap seems good, so I might be able to get away with the Chris spell then, because both of them do all elements. I'm rolling my eyes, John. Let's compare it very briefly to Slash Rave again. Let's use Resta. Oh, and then because he got the Force ability back faster, he condition greened himself. Yeah, so Phaser Zap just out damaged it. Okay. I'm just gonna use Phaser Zap then. Please don't re paralyze me. Okay, good. Well, anyway, prepare for some big damage. Yeah, we'll make Phaser Zap a little cheaper. It is pretty strong. Uh, yeah, let's just crush him in the face. I'm assuming he's not going to survive this turn. We have so much damage coming towards him. He should take full damage here. 
Oh, he healed. Oh, so he absorbs an element. Wait, but then how does the other thing do damage? Wait. Wait, hold on a second. So the all element attack hurts with Hunter, but it heals with Girl? Is that programmed correctly? I don't think that's programmed co correctly. I feel like the game tricked me. It, it says all attribute attack. Why didn't this heal him when I used this? I, I, Chad, I think we could agree. That, that's a little unfair. That's a little unfair for figuring out what the thing is weak to. Whatever. Now we're just going to extend because we unfortunately did heal him slightly. And he would have died there too. That's the sad part. It's too late. All will perish. You will perish with this planet. A thousand experience acquired, more money. In case we get another weapon. Yeah, that that I don't know, chat. Like there's there's some little, like little it's those kinds of things that really bother me when we play RPGs. Like why why did two things with all element do two different completely sets of damage one one literally healing the boss one doing normal do you know what i mean like stuff like that will annoy me like when i'm trying to learn the game and like try to take it and play it the way it's intended that drives me that kind of stuff drives me wild so it's like i'm going to make misinformed decisions because the game didn't behave consistently so it's like, thanks, I guess. Hmm. What actual madness, John? Uh, this will heal up in case there's another boss battle. We're up to four duplicators, which is good. I may or may not need more, because I feel like we cleared most of the bonus dungeons, except for literally the bonus dungeon. So we'll see how it goes. Let's continue forward. Actually, how close am I to leveling? Not that close. Yeah, girl still can't survive. She would need to she still needs to hit level 43. The other characters, I think, can survive as is. Your teardrop is vibrating. Do you want to jump in? Sure. What? What's going on? I told you earlier. I will kill the Guardians. That voice? Siegfried, you're alive? Damn it, I can't see him. Show yourself. I'm quite surprised myself. Good job, Siegfried. <laughs> I guess we weren't the only ones who escaped from the dimension gap. Just sit there and watch as the black light of the darkness tear rain rips Felgaia into pieces. No, how is this possible? Easy, my human friends. The darkness tear can generate anti-life energy by reversing the effects of the teardrop. You know how energy is delivered to the different regions, don't you? No, the L pyramids. Yes, the machine the L's built has now become a doomsday device for Bill Gaia. With the satellites, we can broadcast the anti-life energy from space. We will put an end to this ray line, the power network of the Guardians. Not just wastelands, we will bring utter death to this planet. I thought you wanted to rule this planet for yourself. What you're doing is just killing the planet. You sound more and more like Mother, who you used to hate, you know. Dot 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 from Siegfried. Lady Hawken was originally a human woman. A woman gives birth. Who else is more perfectly suited to give birth to anti-life than a mother? Do it, Alzahad. Let the Black Tear reign into the world. Or onto the world, excuse me. There's no way we'll let you do that. Boss battle time. Oh, or not. It's 
So I'm guessing maybe the intro of the game that's supposed to be Lady Harkin question mark in the anime intro. The Hell's teleportation device has scattered the darkness tier all over Philgaia. The dark glow of the crystal severed the lifeline of the Guardians. This line, called the Ray Line, spreads deep under the planet's crust. So I'm imagining things will change now that this occurs. And maybe the town construction will continue again. The power that held the world together quickly diminished, as the Guardians in each area lost their link. Nature hangs in an uncomfortable balance of an occasional major disruptions. The darkness tear. The antithesis of the teardrop. It will suck Philgaia dry of its life before our very eyes. Oh, big tsunami. Eh, they'll be fine. Stop, damn it, stop! Hunter! Ah! Oh, down she goes. Get away. Don't come near me. I'm Lady Hawk and the Demon Warrior. I couldn't protect her. Again, my power alone could not save her. Hunter. He's heard. Okay. So I'm imagining what's happening if I'm following the plot of this game correctly, that she's clearly a knight for another village. I want to say it's like Artica because we haven't been able to get into Artica Castle and they did talk about the place being destroyed slash abandoned. So that's the only place I could think of in the overworld that it could be. I'm assuming if I'm following the plot correctly. But we'll see. The darkness here didn't do too much damage after all. Thanks to our human friends here, the Guardians remain alive. So yeah, I'm imagining it's going to be him failing as a knight. Hence the whole protecting thing. Whatever. I guess this plan turned out to be a failure. This wasn't a failure. This was supposed to get their attention on what we've accomplished. What would be the meaning of that? Ah, I see. Ah, Dingle. Sorry, you called your you called your place Ka Dingle. Chad, I can't take these names seriously. A thousand years ago, the legendary evil tower of I'm not saying that name was sealed somewhere. We needed to know where and how we could find it. That was the real objective for this project. Ha 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 ha. Humans, wait till I attain the heavenly power. You will be thrilled by the new moon. And finally, Phil Gaia will... Dot dot dot. Oh, here we go. Flashback time. Old bird? What is going on with these names, chat? What in the world do you think you're doing? Almina and Garrett, this is the knighting ceremony. Okay, so I'm, fo I'm following the plot so far. So Hunter's real name is Garrett. You could lose your title for this. Shoot, the old man found us. Not an old man, but your superior as of today. Chief Knight, I asked Garrett to come. It's my fault. Why are you here? You can see the entire town from here. You must find out... You must find what it is that makes you who you are before you can utilize any of the fighting skills we're learning. If not, you'll always be just half a warrior. I thought that by looking from here, he would find something to protect. Something to protect? I already have that. For a good-looking girl, I'll show you my courage, Elmina most important thing a knight should know is what he's protecting. That is why we, the seven Fenril Knights, are named after tools of defense. 
I, Coldbird, am the armor. Commander Ryan is the ship. You can't go from a name like Coldbird to Ryan. Like, that, that does not work, chat. I think we can all agree. It's like saying, like, I'm El Haz Alhazarod. And I'm like, I'm Yojimbo. And then another person is just like, my name's Bob. <laughs> it's just, it's very jarring. Elmina is the attack. I am the sword. Lately, I've been known as the sword princess. So, what am I called? You're a newcomer. You'll be Van Barace, the handguard. Van Barace? What is that? It sounds terrible. The sword is the key to defending against an enemy. You, Van Barace, are the hand that handguard that protects Elmina. Are you not satisfied? <laughs> no problem. I'll guard everything. Let me add it. I'm Van Barace. I'm a Fenral Knight as of today. Culver is a perfectly common name. I know like seven people that have that name. Sure. Cowboy. Princess. Welcome. We're back in Aldehyde. We're all worried about you. I was dreaming about the past. I was supposed to protect. But I didn't. Couldn't. Hmm. I no right to badger you on your secrecy, princess. I sacrifice everything to be a Van Barace. I couldn't tell you the truth about who I am. Hunter is a Van Barace. You're an important member of this team now. Member, huh? Thanks, everyone. Cowboy, princess, could you guys do me a favor? We have to go to Arctica. I have to go there to take care of some unfinished business. Okay, that's about what I thought. I cannot let her stain her hands any further. She's knee-deep in blood and sin. I have to help protect her. Uh-oh, are we just going to investigate her? <laughs> right, Chan? I think we're going to investigate her. You're going to use your powers for protection. I've forgotten the true nature of my sword. Well, we're going to investigate her, Chad. Do you have anything new to say, Chancellor slash Minister? No. I guess he's not going to comment about the world ending. You know, for the world ending, not much seems to have really changed so far in the town. You would think more people would be talking about it. Okay, there we go. Codingle, they mentioned the name. New Moon looks bigger these days. Okay. World was weakened by the black light. The strike the guardians finished in the process. Okay. So shooting star near old moon. I wish for world peace. Is old moon a physical place? Oh. Oh yeah. We never tried to uh, deal with uh, the stone mermaid. We should probably do that at some point. Great. We're going out loud. Maybe larger than it was before. We'd like to donate thirty thousand to the cause. Sure. Okay, so we made some progress. So we still haven't capped the donation thing yet. Do you have anything new? No. Oh, so now he says, says something new. So he said, I thought when I built my new homes, I would be finished. With your secret tool, I should be able to fix the broken guardian statue. Why am I not surprised? All right, I'll go fix it for you. I mean, at least we don't have to pay for this upgrade. I guess I was a little off. You watch. It's going to be some terrible defense rune, though. Take a look at that. We used the secret tool, and now the statue is almost good shape as the... Is in such a good shape that it almost looks alive. Okay. I'm assuming it means in here somewhere. I don't remember where the statue was. We'll have to go find it. I'm assuming I just gotta interact with it. The it looks alive means a rune will probably come out. Am I allowed to go this way yet? No. Forever forbidden. Hmm. I honestly don't remember where the statue is. I don't really consider that a spoiler. There was like the graves in the southwest. Nothing to do over here. Unless I have to, like, revisit it or something weird. 
I'm just looking to see if I missed anything along the sides. There is the fountain here. The lost and found is located on the beach. I guess that's the hint to go find the other place. Is it this one he's referring to? The statue of Zelduk slowly begins to glow. Okay, maybe he's referring to this one. The wishes of the people have awakened me. Together we could defeat the black cloud that covers Filgaia. Castle rune acquired. Oh, that's gonna be some terrible defense rune, isn't it? It is. I'm not interested. Artica's located in the northern mountains. There's an arrow path to Artica that people used to use. But I don't think it exists anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got we got confirmation that it was a crappy defense rune. So I I was I was pretty close, chat. I was pretty close to it giving us something disappointing. It just we didn't pay money for it, I guess. We just had to advance the plot more. I guess it's the, the real difference. Uh we might still need more money for the other thing. Do I just immediately go for the plot or try to do something else is the question. I should definitely restore my bullets. Should be at full. Let's do a save here. I could check to see if that other location does anything, or if I have to go past Cod Dingle or whatever it's called. I guess I could also look for the, uh... What was it? The Stone Mermaid? Hmm... So, I'm trying to think back to all the bosses that we fought. We fought, what was it, Chaos a long time ago. Hmm. We, presumably the bonus dungeon has a final super boss. We defeated everything in the arena, which I'm assuming was optional. So I think we're good there. We know... what was his name? Angel... was it Angel Moa? I think it was Angel Moa. Although, you know what's really funny though, Chris? Like, we were watching Angle Moa. Sorry, not Angel Moa. It, I wonder if that's a mistranslation or another pronunciation of uh, the Angle voice from the Transformers. I wonder if that's supposed to be the same thing, but it's mistranslated. Oh, we killed Barbados. That was the other thing that we did. Oh okay. god. So let's reset. Let's walk out of the town and come back in. Did anything actually change in here? We're gonna see if we could do any more upgrades, and if not, we'll uh, come back later. 50,000? Wow. Uh oh, I might not have enough money. We might actually need to go grind money to complete this. Okay, so the, the one thing we need to figure out is where the ship guy is. Right? Because presumably we have to take... Presumably we have to go on the ocean at some point. 20,000 for an extra bullet. I don't think that's worth it. I have enough bullet clips. That should not matter. I have enough in case we are in a very long bonus dungeon. We have 11 bullet clips. So I don't need to be super stingy with those. Where would he be? Is he like in here or something? Okay, so the tower was the thing between the demons and whatnot from a thousand years ago. There's nobody in here. Hey, don't you recognize me? Drink! From that idiotic wedding, remember? Oh, sure. My gang and I were working on some beach ships at the town of Ship Graveyard when we came across some broken pieces of the sweet candy. We laughed so hard. I realized that as much as I hated that jerk Bartholomew, 
shared a love of the ocean and ships. So I thought I'd be a nice guy for a change. I have a gift for you on the beach. But take a look at the miracle of patchwork. Hmm. Interesting. Many ships were put into making that thing. Yeah, what happened to Bartholomew anyway? Did he actually die? I didn't actually follow his plot thread. Or if he was just injured. Well, there's the Engelmoa comment. Okay, so we have a couple things to investigate. So we have the ship. So presumably we could go fight Leviathan if we want to. Or stone or whatever it is. <laughs> What did they- no, Stone Mermaid, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused between all these games. I'm thinking Final Fantasy, because in Final Fantasy IV, you fight, like, the Leviathan. It's, like, a very big plot element in that game. My brain keeps going to that for some reason. Although, it would be funny if they call it Leviathan again, and then I'd be like, then why did you call it a Stone Mermaid? I mean, honestly, Chan. <laughs> we can call the game out if that happens. But let's oops over to... Saint Centaur. I want to see if anything updated with the blind girl here. And see if we could get the fight out of the way, which I'm assuming is going to be... Maybe Zed? Because we haven't seen him in the plot. But maybe he's something you only complete if you do side stuff. So we'll try again here, and if this doesn't work, we're gonna go to the ship graveyard. We're gonna go get the optional boss. I haven't leveled enough, I think, to consider the angle moist. Or whatever you want to call it. The Miracle of Patrick is a very reassuring name for the ship. Indeed. She was over here. Oh, there's still random encounters? That's stupid. I mean, I guess I'll just auto-attack. I don't think it matters. Our damage should be so high at this point, we should one-shot basically everything. So I don't think we found, like, any super weapons or armor for the characters, aside for allegedly girl. So I'm probably missing some very simple weapon upgrades somewhere. Feel very acquired, sure. That voice. It's Hunter. It's been a long time. Hunter was visiting me. He's very nice. It's a swordsman, too. He's a little funny, but very... A little odd, but funny. Let's talk to you. Okay. So let's see if anything happens. We'll try leaving if nothing happens. We'll just keep coming back until the plot deems that we're able to do something. Oh, this time we're able to do something. Okay, so... We came here before and she said something very similar. Just, we had to go through pandemonium first, I guess. So that's the plot trigger. You persistent jerks, why are you here? Here to take my little paradise away. Here I go, ready or not, I'll crush your little... Will you fight against Ed? Sure. Oh. He went supersized. Hello. This is heaven. Here I am, the Grim Reaper's pen pal. The ultimate macho man! Uh, what happened to your pants, Monster Z? Anyway, let's, uh... Let, let's Dogi Angry Hunter. Is at least I get the guaranteed damage. How much damage is this gonna do? Let's find out. So that's a magic spell. That shouldn't do a lot to Cecilia. And honestly, it didn't do a lot of damage in general. I think I'm gonna go for a wide open here. I think I could go for it without being greedy. So I think boosting his attack is more important than a defense down. That might not even work. We could go for phaser. Oh, I forgot to trickster him to see if he had anything. And we can wide open into a heal, maybe. Oh, he went first. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, all the status ailments. That kind of sucks. Including disease. Has nothing, of course. Okay, lowered his defense. Uh, I'm gonna heal Blade Cowboy, so I don't have to worry about that. Then use Rest on the rest of the group. I think that's the right call. Please don't hit Hunter. Oh wait, Hunter's immune. That doesn't matter. Actually, go ahead. Hit Hunter. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so Hunter's heal ability coming in clutch for bosses only. Well, anyway, we're back up to fighting shape. Cowboy almost has what he needs. 
Use another phaser shot. We'll do... Probably phaser zap here. Oops. Hmm. I'll still try to use Chris. Him targeting Hunter is fine. I don't think I care about this. So now we have attack up, defense down. So this should do more than 900. Yeah, it does almost five times the amount of damage. Let's see, will this heal the boss? Ah, it did okay damage. There we go. Next turn should be a nuke. We're gonna Fury Shot the Phaser. Hunter can... Probably just... Meteor Dive. And I think I'm gonna Fringe. Doombringer. I'm assuming that might be an insta-kill spell. Not sure. Thunder's out of kill range. We're gonna Fury Shot for massive damage. Thanks to our boosted rate of getting this. We should be able to get it again pretty quickly, actually. Do another Phaser Shot. We'll do Slash Rave just because... I mean, I guess we just go all in on the damage, right? I have no reason not to. There's no point to the shield spell, because they seem to be immune to it. I don't really see a point in slowing down the enemy. I think we just got this. We can get a double cast with her and potentially kill the boss next turn if it survives that long. Oh, he's getting extra attacks. What's happening here? What is he doing? Oh, that that randomly did a lot of damage. Hmm. Uh okay, so I guess there's a hidden mechanic that makes it not terrible. Good to know this late in the game. But anyway, we're just gonna double Chris this thing in the face. Hopefully get the kill here. Please don't insta-kill her. Okay, didn't die. Heal blade to get through that. Should be fine. We're gonna double Chris the boss. Oh, I was hoping that would kill the boss. Do a phaser shot here. We'll do a heal blade on the girl, just in case. Actually, you know what? We'll do, uh, what's it called? We'll do Sonic Vision. And we'll see if we could just rest of the team. This should be fun. This might kill. I feel like we've done a lot of damage, so it's very possible this could kill. Uh-oh. Wow! Wait, what? It just- he just has a 2,500 damage attack? What? Oh, that- that's not fair! He didn't use that the whole battle! Wow! Are you serious? Are you totally serious? Wow... I think I got cheated, chat. I don't think I could win this. That is so dumb. Calvishim, I am really not liking the late game of Wild Arms. Like, I thought I was doing completely fine, and then the boss is like, Hey, I'm gonna do like three quarters of your HP, and you die. I don't enjoy this from like a quote-unquote RPG standpoint. So stupid. Ugh. Redo that boss battle because of random super high damage. It literally did double the highest damage that we had seen prior to that point. So stupid. That kind of game design really pisses me off. I'm glad when we play games like Etrian Odyssey, they don't do stuff like this. I'm so glad that they let you save right beforehand. I'm so glad they have like a semi-random pattern that they can't use super spam kills until like certain HP thresholds and then only every three or four moves. Then we don't just randomly just get AoE'd to death <laughs> like that. I mean, can I even survive that with my current setup? I don't think I can. <sighs> this is really irritating. I don't think I'm that close to another level up either. 
Like, one more level up would help with girls, specifically. I'm gonna have to come back. How irritating. I'm gonna see if the other boss is slightly easier. And maybe I'll get something that'll help me with this. Or I'll level. So yeah, definitely really not enjoying the last half of this game. I really hope Wild Arms 2 is not like this. If we deal with more of this, I don't think I'll continue with Wild Arms 2. Because that kind of stuff puts me in such a bad mood so quickly. Where it's just like... I literally... We fought him for like nine turns and he didn't do anything that looked threatening. So it's like I didn't see the need to full heal. And then he's just like, oh, PS by the way, perish. That kind of stuff makes me so mad. See, I'm assuming it's gonna be in like a darker area. No. Hmm. I would like to not do this encounter. Hmm. Can't do anything there. Run from the encounter. Don't think I want that. I'm assuming it's not a random encounter. So we're just looking for something that could realistically be it. Like, it could be there. Hmm. Nope. So there were like a couple of dark patches of water. I just don't remember. Oh, it's zooming in. Oh, for the pillar. Hmm. I don't know. This, this, <laughs> this session is making me very cross with wild arms. Just letting you know. Oh, because I can't go through there. Okay. So it has to be somewhere I can reach. Must just be missing some random pool of water somewhere. You could go around here. This is the bottle that was just like a joke adventure. Yeah, joke thing. That's fine. But just in case we're ruling this out. Don't see it here. Guess I'll go back up north. There were like a couple of patches of water. It could be any of them, so I don't really know how to rule them out other than I'm presumably looking for dark spots. And that's where the boss is gonna be. Hmm. We're not finding anything. Oh. Oh, I got excited. I think we checked that one already. Hmm. I thought there was like a patch of water. Maybe not over here. I thought there was like one where there's just like kind of like a little blotch in the middle of nowhere. I feel like we've flown over it before. I just don't recall where it is. Like it almost looked like a ring kind of thing. Could be here. Just exploring the edges. Nope. Hmm. 
But so far, still not finding anything. We went through almost every area. Yeah, I went through every area I could go through. So there must be like some magic pixel, <laughs> I'm assuming, that I just have not touched. Unfortunate. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. We'll try to like rub them along here. I'm just making sure I'm checking more of these because they're kind of big. Oh, I could have bought the Mangler. What a name for an enemy. Not sure where this boss is. Is it worth looking up to save time? Let's see, we're around here. So if I want to go back to Aldehyde, we could do this. I'm just seeing if there's anything I can do. It's like a specific direction I need to go in. Ambushed, unfortunate. Weirdly, this enemy is one of the only ones I don't want to fight because it has a uh, disease. I don't really want to deal with disease. We're going to avoid the birds. Alright, so I'm in this little patch. I don't see anything there. Is there anything up here that I missed? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, can we invisible while we're on the ship? I'm just looking for a boss. I really, really don't want to be in all these encounters. I can't John Cena on the boat. Oh, that sucks. go wow that took that took a gross amount of time to find okay something is rising from the deaths wait it is called leviathan wait what were they weren't they referring to that as the stone mermaid i'm now confused or was that the name of the boat that was being used Uh, I'm whatever <laughs> Right chat whatever I'm not gonna overthink it And Unless that's just a really weird way of saying it's a golem, but if it was a golem Why wouldn't they just call it a golem? I, I, I don't know. What, l let's not think about it too hard I just Feels like a weird plot point to me of why they called it that Will equip acquired? That's kind of not worth it. Are you randomly gonna do almost 3,000 damage? Uh huh. No, you do much less damage than the other boss did. Deep Sea Cyclone. Okay, I'm gonna rest on this for sure.
Uh, we saw that slash ray one time did good damage. One time. I'm guessing it's based off of luck or something, and it's almost always terrible on this character. So he only gets like a single strike that does no damage most of the time. Oh, I got outsped. That kind of sucks. Fortunately, you have rest of here. Like, I'm pretty sure they referred to it as they were being attacked by the Stone Mermaid. I, I don't think I'm going to second guess myself on that. I don't know why they called it the Stone Mermaid. That's fine. I'm just going to stick to Phaser Zap. Then we'll do wide open again, hopefully. So I'm assuming it hasn't passed. I Dogi Angied. I didn't see the 50% defense thing. Yeah, that did four times the damage of the other move. There we go. This should do max damage for sure now. Does an okay amount of damage? I'm gonna phaser zap again, and then I'm just gonna use fringing on him. Yeah, I think Hunter having immunity to ailments is good because he could use his heal blade on other characters. Aurora Destruction, that sounds like a big damage move. Which did, like, no damage compared to the other character. So I clearly was meant to do this one first. So we'll do another phaser zap, and then I'm just gonna use Resta here. That sound effect is atrocious. Did less damage, why? Huh. It did four- unless the skill can crit, I guess, maybe. It did 4,000 something a moment ago. Uh, I guess I'll go back to Slash Rave into- let's chain... Let's chain Resta into... I don't know how this skill works, Calvisha. Oh, like, if you looked up mechanics, I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I, I, This is like the fourth time I've used the ability. I don't know. Okay, Slash Wave at least hit multiple. No, Slash Wave is still terrible. All right, I'm going back to Meteor Dive. Screw using these other abilities. Assuming this will do damage. Good call. Let's use Fury Shot here. Uh, I guess I could Sonic Vision into Resta. Should be fun. I'm assuming this boss will die pretty soon. I've been doing a lot of damage to it per turn. Imagine maybe two more turns, tops. Especially after the Fury Shot here. Yeah. Goodbye. So you're definitely much easier than the other boss. Let's see what a reward is. Yeah, it's not like any of the calculations are explained in the game. So if you looked up something separate, Calvisham, we'll consider that a huge spoiler on how that works. So he had good luck and his slash rave was garbage. I think I am now officially never using that skill again. It did one thing once the entire playthrough. Every other time that it whiffed, Meteor Dive, Phaser Zap, and Cosmic Nova did more damage. I think it's on the skill description. No, it's not. The skill descriptions in this game are not good, Calvisha. I'm letting, I'm letting you know straight up. I am pretty sure you read a guide if that's how it works, because they do not explain how the damage states work in this game. 100%. That is a significantly high magic resistance. That might be good enough to actually go fight the Illusion King now. Like, she was already... She only needed, like, another 200 health, but I'm getting almost 200 magic resist. Maybe this is good enough to go do the other fight then? Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I still have a, uh... I have one lucky card left, right? Okay. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Oh, I can't teleport while I'm on the boat. Okay, we, do, we need to abandon the boat as soon as possible. Step one. Welcome in Parameter. Let's oops over to... Under Armour was Porta Potty. I mean... I mean, most armor in the game has been kind of doo-doo, to be fair. It, like, literally, I think only one armor has been worth it, and it's been hers. This armor we picked up now, and one armor previously. Otherwise, I think I could have gotten through this whole game, minus the bonus bosses, without ever touching armor. I think armor is important for the bonus bosses, unless I just want to use dolls, in which case... Armor is literally pointless, sadly, in this game. If we use dolls instead of armor, then we don't need armor. It helped a little bit with Hunter, a little bit, but it's not to the point where it was like, I was really thankful after it happened. It was just kind of okay. Because, I mean, think about it this way. They have, like, the best armor in the game right now that I can find. And, like, they still got one shot, essentially, by that other ability. So, like, unless it stopped that from happening, and it, it, it only did, like, 1,800 or whatever, I would have been more impressed. But anyway, let's go to... Do I just go for the rematch? I guess I go to Saint Centaur. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I just go for the rematch now that I have defense on her. Because she couldn't survive it at all. And the way to mitigate that is to level. So she's not quite able to level either. I could secret sign first. Yeah, let's just secret sign first. Let, let's not mess around in case it does like more than I'm expecting. And then hopefully based off of this kill, we'll then go fight the Illusion King. And then I might be done with bonus content. I'm in such a bad mood from earlier, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that really made me mad. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and use the flight here. Like, losing to Zed is one thing, but I'm still more mad at the prison fight. That was more BS. Oh. I forgot a bottle here? Ooh. Wait, how do we get the boat over here? Uh, I should probably go check what those are. I'm just curious if I enter a town and exit town if the boat will teleport to me or not. Or did I just leave it somewhere randomly? Hmm. Uh, I don't really have a way to call the boat to me. That's actually kind of annoying. Alright, so we're gonna park here. I'm curious if those bottles have anything of interest. I'm assuming I can get to them if I go around the sides. So we're going to do this real quick, and then we're going to get XP. So that way I should have enough health to survive the Illusion King. An extra speed doesn't hurt for that, for sure. Bottle floating in the water, and is a message south of here is the Isle Conflict, where fighters level 30 or higher compete. Should be one more bottle, though, we saw. Item in the floating in the bottle. Press graph. Okay, I had a feeling it was a spell thing. So I think the only thing left in the sea are the message bottles, which is fine. I love how the game said level 30 or higher, but like, honestly, I don't know. Probably should have recommended like 35 or something if they wanted players to not die to this second arena battle. So yeah, with this much defense, I think this will make a difference. Even if it is one to one, it saves me a level up. Whereas like the other armor was adding like 30 defense and maybe it did okay. Like magic resistance from the rune mattered, for example. But I don't feel like the stats from the armor were all that great comparatively, if that makes sense. So 
like in theory if i want to tank zed i could w equip that castle room but then my damage is terrible so i'll be like nah Let's see where we are okay i need to go to this one So we're going to secret sign this thing, or whatever it's called. Lucky card? We're going to lucky card this thing. So we mostly just need to slash rape. I'm not even sure if I need more keys. I might be fine. I have four. That ability is so bad. <laughs> like, I, I was impressed once. It did 7,000 for some reason. And every other time, it has been a complete whiff. Certainly interesting. Okay, we got extra healing for out of combat, which is fine. We might need more money. I'm assuming it's gonna go like 30, 50, either 80, 100,000, or straight to 100,000 next time we go to Aldehyde. So getting bonus money here isn't bad. Uh, I'm gonna rocket launcher. I'm gonna stick to meteor dive because that actually does damage. Oh, Kirk plus plus maybe. See much we do here. Oh, they have more than one immunity. That sucks. Alright, we'll use the light attack, I think, on this next time. Unfortunately, Hunter is just immune. So them targeting Hunter is basically just wasting their time at this point. So we'll do... Let's dango. Goodbye, enemy. So we're getting little bits of XP, which might be useful later. The money, I think, is also important, because I think we have more town upgrades. They did get Dengode. Come on. Give us that random encounter, and then we'll move on. We're at the mercy of the game, RNG. Nope, that's not the encounter we're looking for. Uh, I think it's fine to Kirk plus plus this encounter. Might be strong enough to one shot. Depends on how they split, really. Pretty even split. This should be GG. So again, if we need money for the other thing, we're getting closer. I'm almost at 100,000. If I do the lucky card, I'll probably be at 160,000, which should be good enough. I'm contemplating running from these battles if we don't get what we're looking for again. Let me try... Uh, let's investigate the enemies. See if this works out a little better. I think with the extra MP, it's worth just kind of burning it there. Come on, game. <laughs> We're looking for one specific encounter that is absolutely worth our time. Those are not worth our time. I'm running from the encounter. Come on. Don't make me actually go for the encounter rate up. We got it in like three battles last time, which was okay. We're going on to like six or seven. It's getting a little excessive. No. I mean, I might as well just kill these things, I guess. So we'll do... Dango. That sound effect is horrible. The image of it was okay. But at this point, our spells weigh out damage. Hopefully this is enough. Oh, it's not. Unfortunate. 
Probably gonna have to cure that. Oh! Didn't need to. GG then. So we're just chipping away at the XP that we need, but I'm looking for one fight. Everybody's within 30,000, so everybody should get one level, and that should make the Zed fight completely fine. And then the Illusion King should be easy after that. There we go. This is the encounter I'm looking for. So, we're just gonna go all out. We're gonna do... Hmm... That's like a Trickster. I probably want to reduce their speed. I'm gonna tell them to... Oh, that's right. It doesn't hit everybody, it's just a group. Hmm... Then I think it's time to... Use... Where is it? we we'll use Meat Shield on Girl so she can survive. Good and Seal. No one surprise. We basically need to just kill one of them and then we're fine. Then we can Lucky card afterwards. Immune. Hunter should be immune to this. So we have like at least a way out of this. But sadly she got confused. Oh, my bullet count's kind of low. Hmm. Save a couple of those for the other thing, then. Let's use... Hmm. It's all heal blade girl, just in case. I might need her ability to face tank slash meat shield. spamming this. This is what I was hoping they wouldn't do. Unfortunate. I will let Cowboy be confused for a little bit. Let's use Trickster again. We're gonna use Resta. It's so bad. I have to I think this is officially the worst steal command I've seen in any RPG. I'm willing to state it. Its success rate is like hilariously terrible. And then most of the time enemies don't even have items. Like a double whammy of terrible. It's honestly impressive how useless it is. Like not once have we stolen a rare weapon, a rare armor. Haven't found like Ambrosius with it yet. We haven't found... I mean, we got, like, a bullet clip. Like, was it really worth stealing for a bullet clip? I don't think it was. But anyway, we're almost done with these enemies. So she's still protected for a little bit, which is nice. New rocket launcher here. I'm gonna try again to Trickster. And then we're probably just gonna use Meat Shield on Hunter, I guess. That way he's basically immune. Holy. So he's immune to basically all their strikes. And he can't get status ailments. So he's good for a while. So hers will break finally. She resisted three attacks with it. It only took 700, which is honestly not too bad. I guess the defense helps in this fight a little bit. We're gonna meet Shield herself again. One of the first game I bought for PS3 in the classics because I missed it on PS1. Hmm. Welcome, Black Spidey. Hope you're doing well. I'm not super thrilled with the game at the moment in, the, in this particular session. But we're getting through. So let's go ahead and rocket launch her again. I still didn't unlock his fourth level ability. So, I probably have to fight whatever her name was at some point to unlock it. We'll just kill this enemy. I'm tired of trying to steal there. Uh, we'll dual cast some meat shields because it's funny. So now the enemies can't do anything to us. Make this guy wide open, I guess. I haven't played it yet to be fairy like Wild Arms do better. Let's. Interesting. 
get through here. You're wide open. Wide open. Heard that from chat. Defense down, please. You're good. Just woke up. And yeah, there we go. We killed one. We did try to steal for like five turns in a row. Oh, you're doing a new attack. Look at that. Yeah, see, she took like 400 damage. That's an example of where now that armor is high enough level, it's worth using. The, the end game armor, I think, is worth equipping. I just don't think a lot of the purchase in between were worth it. So I, I, oh, there we go. We got the duplicator. So I think like if I were to do this again, I probably would continue to avoid armor until probably the fight right before mother and then just never bother upgrading again. Because we ended up getting armor anyway from like the woods and the L dimension. So like if I'm going to need it, it's going to be for that fight and then that would be it. And I think that was kind of the problem, where it was like, the where the armor sort of helped with the fight before Mother, dealing with like the golems. Not Mother herself, funny enough, but the golem fight. Um, I don't know if it would really be worth it in hindsight. Well, anyway, I think things are done here. Guess I could just put bomb on somebody randomly. Who cares? This fight's over. Oh, actually, I need to make sure to card here. So this should not kill, at least. But we have weakened this enemy significantly. Uh, so we're going to make sure we're going to go ahead and use Rocket Launcher here. I'm going to go burn our card. We need to sell some of these items. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, I think I'm just going to straight up melee you. You can't be that far from death. You only have like 30,000 health or so. And you got hit with the 999 already. Yeah, let's go for phaser shot into. Let's do phaser zap into melee attack. Hopefully, this will kill. Apologies for that sound effect. The sound effect is atrocious. Oh, it even prevents counterattack. That's interesting. Oh, we're getting close. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is now GG. We'll do Sonic Vision into melee. This should be GG. I know they can survive at least two 999s, but I don't think they have much more health than that. Goodbye. So 80,000 experience. Cowboy level, hunter level, girl level, 60,000 money. There we go. That's why we did that fight. And we're out of here. So I should hopefully not need to level for the rest of the game. Let's go ahead and do that. So girl has a little bit of extra health. Cowboy's got a little extra, Hunter's a little extra, so maybe... Magic resistance, they're, their magic resistances are still terrible. Don't get me wrong. But I think with her Necronomicon, plus the armor, plus her rune, her magic resistance is pretty good. But their MGR is kind of terrible. Actually... I think it'll be faster if I do this. Go to Saint Centaur manually. So we're going to rematch that fight where you have one extra level. I have better armor on the girl. I'm hoping that means she could survive the melee move. Because that was her big issue before. Yeah, so now she has about the same defense as the other characters. So she should live that, hopefully, now. And not just get one shot and die. It's possible the level up could impact our speed, but I don't think that'll matter as much. So basically, I think with her, I'm just going to spam heal over and over in case the boss just decides to do the 2.6 thousand damage attack. Because that was kind of unfortunate. So we're going to do the same fight again, but this time with one extra level. And then I guess we'll fight the Illusion King. So we're doing basically all optional bosses right now. Oh, wrong house. I even slowed down there, so I didn't bonk. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know who I need to talk to her with. I'm just gonna talk to her with both. Oh, I missed an item. Really? I missed an item in this town? I thought we grabbed it. Did I not save it or something? There was that treasure chest. Was there something other than the treasure chest that I missed? Oh, maybe it just didn't save the treasure chest. I definitely got this last time we were here. Okay, it's just the treasure chest. <laughs> I I specifically remember getting that chest. That's why I was like, okay, maybe I just didn't save afterwards. All right, so we got another Ambrosia. Let me sort my inventory. So that way I don't have to look for it. So I should have two Ambrosia now, correct? Oh, I'm up to three. Oh. Okay, so six full heals, three Ambrosias for super bosses, two full revives. I still have a lot of magic carrots. I should just be able to beat Zed here. I'm not really too worried. I guess I could response down him, because his other attack did go really fast. His other attacks didn't bother me. It's just that 2.5. If he does that 2.5 twice in a row, I just lose. So I'd rather not have to deal with that again. So I did not want to speed down him, but I think he's going to be a boss that requires it. Kind of like the Illusion King is going to require it when we go to fight him. So hopefully this small speed increase slash HP increase matters. Well, anyway, it's the Grim Reaper's pen pal chat. So let's... Oh, I forgot to restock my bullets. Um, That's kind of annoying, but I think we should still be fine. I'm not going to redo that. So all he had was nothing, right? I don't think I need to waste time with that. Let's go ahead and use... Dogie Angry there. It just means my 999 burst damage won't be as high. So yeah, we definitely need to buff damage. I don't know if Dogi Angie, Angie actually manages, does anything to our gun damage. I guess I should check that. So we'll do some basic shots as we stall. Let's use Heal Blade on himself. Then we'll do this on this move and see what happens. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, chat, remember how I said before it's kind of a little bit unfair? So, that outsped my heal move on him. Yeah, that's really stupid. I mean, at least she could survive now. But he's just gonna do it twice. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Like, chat, does that seem fair to you? Like, honest question, does that seem like good design? <laughs> just like, honest question. Like, did that seem fair in the slightest? So he could just totally do that whenever. Okay, so at least we confirm there's no rhyme or reason as to why he does it. Last time he went like, like almost eight turns without using it. All right, so I'm gonna use bullet clip on phaser and then we're just gonna redo the boss battle. Yeah, like, that's just nonsense. And then it seems to do more than 2,500. Did you see a uh, hunter taking 3k? So if I don't land this response down, I think I just lose. Like, I don't think there's anything I can really do. So apparently he has no kind of logic as to when he'll use this move. So if I don't do this immediate, So it means maybe even his first turn he can use it and we're just getting lucky, question mark? Anyway, we're gonna try again, but this time with bullets. Um, just use phaser here. I don't think it really matters what I do here. Okay, so if we don't, if we don't tell them to wait five years, we're gonna be in trouble. I almost thought he was gonna do it again. I'm not gonna lie. So this is not gonna do a lot of damage, sadly. So if this doesn't land, we might be in trouble. Okay, we should be good there. We're gonna have Hunter heal himself, because until he gets attack up, he's really not gonna do that much damage. We use Phaser again. We're gonna have you heal yourself. Then I need you to... I guess we get Doki Angry Cowboy to see if that does anything. 
So again, so we're trying to do it in a sense where I have extra HP. Hopefully this will work. So the boss... Okay, this is fine. There's a lot of damage. Will this increase his damage? No. If it did, I didn't notice. So good to know. Rinodogi Angry Hunter then. And then we'll wide open the boss. And hopefully we'll get out of this heal loop and the girl will just be in charge of healing. Alright, so for whatever reason he procs a counter attack, at least we'll do more damage. Oh, I missed. Cool. So she's gonna be forced to AoE heal here. Just fine. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot him in the face. We're gonna double check that he had no items, but as I said before, the game is very trolly with boss drops, and they've been really terrible for the most part. Yeah, it has nothing. Pointless. Anyway, let's heal. This should do 999, even without defense down. This does so much damage. Alright, so he's doing his nonsense move. It could put you to sleep? Are you serious? <laughs> why? <laughs> but why though? That move wasn't stupid enough? Holy, it's like, it's like onions. I keep coming across more layers. That puts you to sleep? Holy. I, I think this is gonna burn in Ambrosia. I think I have to do this if I want to beat this boss. Actual insanity. Goodbye, Ambrosia. You died for this boss battle. And it went again! He did it twice! I would have game over just then. <laughs> wow, that is so unfair. <laughs> that is so unfair on so many levels, chat. Oh my gosh. Almost an instant game over. Holy. Get this boss out of here. Full heal time. I'm thankful Hunter has immunity to status ailments, and we completed something before this to give him immunity. <laughs> what is happening? I guess, you know what, chat? He sensed that we're winning, so he's just using this move constantly now. This isn't totally atrocious. I don't know what you mean. I right, wait to tell him he's wide open. Holy. What a difference in difficulty this boss battle has been. I mean, I can maybe try to defense up next turn, maybe? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I think the boss has officially given up, chat. The boss is like, you know what? I'm only gonna use my best move from now on. I don't have other moves, it's all good. Get rid of the sleep. Heal. Chat, for those of you that saw this earlier, is this not insanely bad luck? What is happening? I think I'm dead. I think I have to redo this boss battle again. Unless I really want to burn another Ambrosia, which, spoilers, I really don't. Um... I don't even know what to say. This is just something else. This is a choice that they made. I guess... I might just restart the boss battle. I don't think it's worth using two Ambrosias in one boss battle. No, he's got too much health. He has like 40,000 or something. I I wish he only had 20k. Then I would just kill him here. Yeah, we are not close at all. I mean, I guess I could just go for it. I could do like an accelerated... Healing Blade? No, that doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. I think it's just game over here. He disabled our healer, so there's not really much I could do about this. So we'll do damage on the way out, unless he decides to single target. As a reminder, he could single target. Oh, he decided to single target, surprisingly. Okay, I can, I can live with this. So we'll have Cowboy use... Anything about this? I could risk losing a f revive fruit, which I think is okay, but we can rest to here. I don't technically need him to win unless he sleeps everybody again. So slow response time here. 
might backfire and he might AoE kill Hunter here. We'll see. Or he'll just target Hunter immediately. Cool, cool. Love it. <laughs> right, chat? Cool, love it. Definitely don't really hate it. And okay, we're gonna need Okune, the character back to life. This should be full health, I hope. Save us a revive item. What a battle. Holy. Chad, you are witnessing, like, pure, unfiltered nonsense. I just want you to know. <laughs> this is the hardest boss battle we've had in the game, period. Like, I think we could straight up beat the Illusion King. This battle is nonsense. Alright, well, I have to heal with him. Let's Fury Shot again. I'm gonna use Heal Blade on him. And maybe I'll try to dual cast Base Tank to reduce damage. Is there anything else I could do to make this less nonsense? Yeah, this is really BS. Um, I don't even know what to do. I guess I could Dogi Angie's him again. So we should survive this. So we're pumping his damage so he can actually hurt next turn. Assuming the boss battle goes forward. Yeah, shy of like the bonus dungeon boss, I don't see what else would- Yeah, he survived three shots of this so far. Okay. I think we might win. I'm not taking anything risky right now. Oh, there we go. We beat him. Wait a minute. Give me a chance to explain. No. You will get no minute. 1600... Or 16,666 experience received. Doombringer acquired. I'm shaking my head. Just listen to me, I won't run. There was an accident with the gate generator. I was caught in it and ended up here in this town. Didn't know what was happening. There were monsters everywhere. I saw this woman. I told her to keep quiet. Also, that says quiet, not quiet. I told her to keep quiet. We'll correct that. Or I would kill her. She was calm and... I think they mean quiet. <laughs> they keep saying quiet, which is not the right word. Later, I found out that she was blind. The first time in my life, I felt complete. She's the first person that treated me normally. I felt kind of nice, so I decided to stay and help out around the house. I was afraid you might tell her who I was. That is why I attacked. Yes, I'm a demon. Go ahead and kill me. Jeez, you sure talk a lot for a demon. All I need is one shot. Quite isn't quiet. <laughs> quite quiet, exactly. Hey. You're a lot meaner than you look. No, stop! I really believe Zed doesn't want to die. <laughs> was was it him doing 3,000 damage to us that convinced you? He's discovered a life other than a one for fighting. I think we let him stay here in this town. Maybe he can help the blind. What do you think, cowboy? <laughs> Chat, I am so tempted to say no. <laughs> I'm so tempted. I want revenge. I guess I should probably say yes. You guys are really nice people, aren't you? I'm a born-again guardian. Protect this girl with my life. Shall meet again, my friends. Don't forget, I'm Zed, the Deviant. You sure about this? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so we got a new weapon for him. So we're at best luck. Weapon for the right arm. So it dumps our luck score. Which... If it influences stealing, I haven't seen it. <laughs> stealing barely works anyway. I guess I'll take the damage loss. That's fine. What a ludicrous battle. It's okay. I don't plan on using any luck-based abilities, so I'm just going to use this. I might not even bother stealing for the rest of the game. Honestly, we've fought like 11 or so like optional encounters or like rare fights. And only one of them has it been useful. And not a single point prior to this point in the game has it been useful. So that's probably hands down the most disappointing ability we've seen in the game. So anyway, I'm hoping this extra damage will matter. Um, I'm not super far off from leveling, but I don't think I'll need it to level. 
So why don't we, uh, oops over to the arena, and I guess we'll go fight Illusion King slash God or whatever. You know, just casual J RPG things. So we have an extra level. I have a better armor, a better weapon. We can restock our ammo here. Hmm. I almost want to redo the arena once we're done with all the bonus bosses. When we have all this equipment, how much easier it'll be now that we've gotten some of the super gear. So anyway, I think it's going to force us to break the glass again, sadly. We're just going to falcon punch the mirror out of the way. So again, we're coming back here with like two more levels, way better gear. So this should be pretty easy. Honestly, we almost won the other time. The only reason we didn't win was because of the fact that uh, it just did enough minimum damage that we did, that we uh, died instantly. So Hunter being above 3000 is good. Cowboy survived, I think, even without the other ability. So if we just have a uh, girl focus on healing every turn, I should be good. So as long as we land the response down, it should be fine here. And again, this boss can also do the stupid AoE attack that we were just witnessing, but Angle Moa did not seem to be able to sleep and do the attack at the same time. He's napping because he's bored, yada yada, I'm tough. Well, I don't think you're as tough as that last fight, to be honest with you. I think we almost beat him the first time we were here. We just got really, really, really unlucky. But as we we're trying to close out the battle. Um, I could trickster him just to see if he has anything. The answer is probably no. So let's go ahead and tell him to wait five years. Oh yeah, we need to name a spell after Black Spidey, potentially. Oh, he does have something to steal. Interesting. Kind of unfortunate, because I think I just tanked my luck. Alright, so now he's slow. So we gotta get defense down eventually. So I'm just gonna do some rockets until we defense down him. I'll go for Trickster again. Let's go for wide open so we can start doing damage. We'll take a couple of steel attempts, but I doubt I'll get it. Oh, we got it. It's Ambrosia. That's somewhat useful. Okay, defense down. Now I can afford to go all out. Oh, here we go. Here's the nonsense attack. Can we survive this now? No, Hunter still dies every time. Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Can I beat the battle with him dead? Maybe? The important thing is girl survives with her level ups. Yeah, that's fine. Although she doesn't full heal. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is we're definitely just going to Fury Shot him. Then we're going to, I guess, try to revive with Nino Kuni. Because if nothing else, this is another decoy for the other character. So I guess I did have to equip the thing that gives him more health. I was kind of hoping with a level up, actually two level ups, that he would have survived that. I mostly just need Cowboy to live. He's kind of our only important DPS, to be honest with you. We're going to keep using Phaser. I guess I could heal Blade Cowboy, because I don't care about his damage. Then I could do... I could do... What was it called? We could do Baywatch on Hunter to maybe stop him from dying. We also keep Cowboy's health up, so we should also survive. Yeah, we're using Baywatch. Our life is protected. Get out of here. Okay, I'm not surprised the boss went for this. So he died, but got revived. And we could choose to rest uh, somebody. I'm gonna do this, maybe? Should be fine. I'm just gonna make sure Cowboy lives by healing him a bit more.
So we're doing some solid damage a turn. Oh, he's doing it again. Say goodbye to Hunter. Hopefully girl survives this. Girl didn't survive this. Ooh, I made a miscalculation. Okay, so I think what we could do... I thought Hunter was going to live, but clearly he doesn't live. So we could redo the fight knowing that. I'm probably still going to die here, but I'll try to save the fight. Uh, fight's not over. The fact that I'm allowed to get another turn here is actually huge. If he single target attacks again, I think I win. Because I'm doing a lot of 999s to him. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe he decided it's not time to win. So she might live, but he will die. Ooh, we're kind of in a weird heal loop with this character. Yeah, sadly. I think I just needed Hunter to be able to survive the hit. So we're going to get rid of his status immunity one since it doesn't seem as useful. Him surviving that hit is important. Yeah, that's fine. And his damage is pretty wide. So we're going to try again. So unfortunately, it looks like with his damage range, he could still one-shot Hunter. If we could fix that, then we're fine. So I don't need to do anything other than change his accessory. I still don't think he's harder than Zed. He just has a higher stat number I have to beat. It's fine. I just do... Uh, what's it called? This. Yeah, so now he's 3,900 health, and we should just win. No big deal. If he silences Hunter, it doesn't really matter. I kind of view Hunter as like a backup healer. Because Resta doesn't quite heal enough by itself. So I don't expect him to do much damage. I could try to still steal for uh, Ambrosia, technically. Oops, thought I menued that. But him dying every turn is a waste of our turns. So basically, every time the boss does a single target attack, I want to be able to heal blade with Hunter, and then I can cast uh, Baywatch on our other characters. And that should mean that I just win. But I started getting negative action economy because I was wasting time reviving him, then healing and doing everything else. So that allows the boss basically to win via RNG. This is a reminder, his attack is totally random. He can just decide to guard like six times in a row and just choose not to attack. And in that sense, it makes him easier than Zed that we just fought. So anyway, we should be good now. We'll do some basic shots here. Go for Trickster. We definitely need... The only thing we really need in our favor here is speed down. Let's have him wait for five years. Ambrosia could be useful if we decide to do the bonus dungeon later. So a single target attack, which is good. That actually lets us get more damage against the boss. Or we'll do zero, never mind. Pretty high defense then. So like in this scenario, Hunter's not- there's no point to attacking with Hunter. So I'm just gonna use his ability to heal to buy myself a turn. And then we defense down the boss so we could start doing some big damage. Okay, so things are going well so far. So now our phaser damage is up. And even if the boss blocks, it doesn't really matter. C case in point, he was too slow to block. Um, guess I could go for Trickster while I'm waiting. Let's get a nice little... Get Baywatch going on Girl so she doesn't die. So we have now a safety revive. As we can see, the boss is being much more kind than when we just did it. I think chat can agree. Like the boss is just sticking to single target attacks. Again, it's kind of wonky, your experience versus the, versing these bosses. Let's get a free revive on Cowboy, I think. See, now I can afford to gain my turns back with this. Oh, that didn't actually full heal her. That's a problem. Oh well, good thing she's the other ability. So that's one 999 down. Okay, we're gonna get hit here, but we fortunately should get revived. We do a phaser. 
I could, in theory, Ambrosia here if I wanted to. I don't think I want to. Let's use Heal Blade on... Hunter to survive, and then Rester for the rest. So that should give him enough health to survive a hit and give me a turn back later. Cowboy has a revive on him still. Girls to full health. Alright, so we're getting another turn back. So this is where potentially I would use a magic carrot on her. We're gonna go for... I think another revive. Actually, I want you to keep attacking. A magic carrot, her, so we don't have to worry about MP. And we're going to... Baywatch... Girl again? As long as she lives, we should be fine. And keeping our MP higher is probably higher priority. So now she can't be killed. We have two death insurances active, essentially. This is fine. Nobody died here. That's important. Another phaser bullet here. I just go for, I think, a self heal here so he doesn't die. Actually, use it on girl, because I'd rather girl survive over the other guy. Do this. Like, she absolutely needs to live. So I'm just going to make sure she doesn't burn her stuff. If Hunter dies, it's not the end of the world. I should get an extra turn if I really need it. So she'll heal again. Hopefully he does not 7th moon again, is what I was about to say. So I think I got punished there a little bit, sadly. So here, I think I'm going to be forced to use an Ambrosia, sadly. So we're going to use an Ambrosia. I'm going to use... Five years on... Or not five years. We're going to use... A watch on... Hunter? Okay, so that should put us out of the kill range. He should now have protection. We just gotta keep doing damage every turn, and we should just win. Okay, we're given another turn, which is good. We're gonna use... Phaser damage. Let's use... I should use this force at some point, but I think what I want to do is actually magic carrot her again. And I'm going to use Baywatch on... Hellboy? I'm not sure if he ac See, that's the downside. I can't see who has the bonus applied. I don't know if he actually burned it earlier. Alright, let's change our plan a little bit. I'm going to Trickster again. I'm going to... I guess buff his damage and start going for damage here. Couldn't get our Ambrosia back, but that's fine. Hunter will be able to bullet clip Cowboy, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we got another turn. This is good. Use a bullet clip. Let's use Sonic Vision. And then we'll do... I guess a safety bay watch on somebody. Is that on girl again? Just in case she burned it. Let's get some damage on the boss. Alright, so I know for sure she is protection. She almost got one shot. So we're doing about 3,000 a turn. We're about to do 999, which is good. Do I have any AoE party heals other than the full heal? Because I'd really prefer not to use another one. Uh... That's like a push and berry... Owlboy? Oh, and wait, I can double cast Resta. We're good. It's actually, what I want you to do is magic carrot her again, so I could just double Resta. That way, everybody's guaranteed to be at full HP. So we're keeping her MP up. So we've given her 100 extra MP so far. So this will not full heal them, but this will. Okay, so we got out of that cycle. So we should survive a 7th moon if he gets another chance. But I think this is basically GG. I don't see the boss lasting more than like another 3 turns. Yeah. 999. Nice, nice, nice. 
So sadly did not steal Ambrosia from the boss that time. But it's fine. What's our reward for beating this? Girl leveled, got money, Juggernaut acquired. Goodbye bonus boss. Will we explain anything? No, we just kind of fought you and killed you. Oh. <laughs> so let me get this straight. I killed Zed to get a weapon to get another weapon. And now a Juggernaut. Weapon for the right arm. So I think I got his best weapon and Doombringer was worse. So Doombringer was used for a single battle chat. Round of applause. Least used weapon in the game. We did it. Sorry, Zed. You died for literally... Well, we let you get away. The fight was basically pointless. We're like, angle no more. Yeah. Yeah, Doombringer just immediately got rejected. That was kind of sad. Well, I guess our luck is back up to normal, I suppose. So where are all the weapons for boy? Hmm... Right, chat? I feel, we're, we have to get them from somewhere. We already beat the arena. I mean, do, do I just go back and stomp the arena out of spite? Maybe I do. Although, I'm gonna do that. Where's your, where's your immunity to everything? Please put that back on. How close is everybody to leveling? Ooh, not that far. Hmm, not that far. Hmm. I don't think I really... I don't need to clear the arena, but it would be funny to come back to it. Think about it. We have an insane amount of cash. <laughs> Chat. I just want to see, what is the name of the armor that we're using? It's Hyper Gear. Not bad. Yeah, I have a feeling some of these will just require us to go to other places. We got here, we got the Sunbird Hat and Dawn Poncho. Hmm. We were originally using the Garnet Coat, which I think we purchased earlier in the bonus uh, black market area. Uh, I guess I returned to Aldehyde. I'm not sure I want to do the bonus dungeon. If this is the lead into the bonus dungeon, I'll think about it. But at least we have better gear for it if we really want it. If there's a lot of armor in the bonus dungeon, that would actually help a lot with survival. But then after that, the rest of the game will be too easy. Kind of a catch-22, really. Oh my gosh, we have so many more spells to bind. Did we complete all the advanced spells? I'm just curious. We have one left. Sure, we'll bind it. We'll leave counter up as counter up. So we, we now officially have all the advanced magic in the game. Hmm. Look at the avoid attack. I'm mostly not going to name these unless Chad is feeling inspired. Something that recre increases my speed, which seems not worth doing, to be honest. I think the speed down was just better. Parry rate seems also kind of pointless to raise. I don't think I really care. Wakes from sleep. Oh no. How good are we with these? Blind all enemies, confuse the enemy, make an enemy sleep. That one in theory could be good. Yeah, let's just finish up our spells, I guess. So I imagine there's probably a few spell, or excuse me, crest graphs that I forgot. 
But at least we could see an idea of where we are. We're basically at the end of the game. I might have missed one or two in that one uh, fortress that I didn't want to do the stealth section through. So we still have like six more to get, technically. Hmm. Anything I want to name Spidey. <laughs> puzzles. I'm gonna rename Puzzles. Let's do Black Spidey for the health chain. That works. Okay, so we've now technically gained more spells to name if we want to. Maybe at the very end of the playthrough, we'll go through. Okay, we don't need anything there. We'll go back and we'll have a little clip remembering all the names of our ridiculous spells. So we'll have to name them at some point. But right now, I'm not in a rush. Alright, so nothing new there. How are you blocking me? <laughs> that NPC was putting in the work, chat. Okay, so I've killed all known bonus bosses. Unless I feel like doing the bonus dungeon. I guess what I should do... Let's do the plot and just embarrass Lady Harkin. Because there is no way she's doing anything to this team. <laughs> like, chat, just straight up, she's getting removed from existence. Oh, I didn't heal. Oh, that's annoying. Let's oops back then. I want my MP and I don't feel like using carrots until we're in the bonus dungeon. If we do the bonus dungeon. We'll take the free healing, aka the best town. Our ammo counts are good. Health totals are not bad. But we're basically at the point where I don't think the main plot will be able to do anything to us because we beat the bonus bosses. At least all the ones that I'm aware of outside of the bonus dungeon. We'll do the bonus dungeon, I think. If we could get his fourth ability, I think we'll probably do it then. Because we're still missing that, sadly. Oh. Do I still not have that unlocked? That kind of sucks. I guess because it counts as a dungeon. Yeah, Lady Harkin is about to be absolutely destroyed by this team chat. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna first try her. We have so many levels and stats. Like, what is she possibly gonna do to this team? She can't be tougher than Zed. I refuse to believe. Especially now that I have my uh, full Libra on again. So now this is open, which was closed before. Full revive acquired, nice. Another full revive, that's really good. I'll need that potentially, for oh. That is a hole in the floor. Okay, so there are random encounters here. I might be able to level through random encounters. Hello, color swapped enemy. Would you like to perish? Uh, we'll use Kirk Plus Plus. I'm gonna see if they're uh, resistant to anything. So now we have super damage with Meteor Dive, so he might be competing with Cowboy again for damage. Let's check for resistances. Not a lot of damage. But good enough. 4,000 experience, not bad. We only need two more fights potentially to level, but... Let's skate a little bit. Oh yeah, you can skate straight out of the building. That's fine. So I think what I want to do is angle it so that way I hit the wall. Because I want to see if there's anything around the sides before we go further this. Okay, so there's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, there was no other passageways. Let's go in the hole, because it's funny. Let's do this. 
the bonk. Go up here. The game really wants to make sure I have healing items for this boss. Does it really think it's that big of a power spike? Are you giving me full heals? There's a rumor I could use a duplicator. Uh, got four left. So again, reminder, when I'm skating, I can't get in random encounters. Secrets unacquired. Secrets unacquired. Um... I guess I'll lower phaser zap costs and heal blade by one. Let's make heal blade cheaper. I actually use that more than the other abilities. When I need it, I really need it, if that makes sense. Look at all all those not encounters I'm having. Oh, that looks like a weapon. We saw this in the flashback. Oh, there's like weird ice physics. And yeah, let's not deal with that. Wild Bunch Arm Acquired. And what is that, pray tell? Barnia Dash Attack? Barnia. I guess it's Barnia and friends here. I, I imagine I would have to level that a lot for it to be useful. But right now it is sadly not useful. Alright, so there's another thing where I could do that. So I'm glad we got extra duplicators, right chat? It's paying off. There's the not vampires. Cosmic Nova. I don't know, maybe we'll just... Uh, I wish I had an AoE. I guess I'll Kirk plus plus. Honestly, I just want to save MP. Should do okay damage. Yeah, good enough. 3,000 experience, the fight was not worth our time. So hopefully we'll get Secret Sign, I'll make the other ability cheaper. We're down to three duplicators. Hopefully we don't need to farm more. Secret Sign acquired, more Secret Signs. A Cosmic Nova cheaper. The way he's less likely to uh, use MP. So I guess this means I could go... If I go this way, does that mean I could get to a, another passageway? A second before we go in the middle. Look at all that combat skipping. Oh, there's nothing worth doing over there. Okay, so that does get me to the other side. There's nothing to do there. Never mind. I wasn't sure if it immediately led to that room or if there's like a room in between. I think this is fine. Ooh, the game is not letting me reposition correctly. Come on, there we go. Uh, I guess we're ready for a boss fight. This feels pretty boss fighty. There's a path down here, doorway up there. Hmm. Imagine swords equal boss. Let's see what this room is over here. And again, we could still potentially level before we go further. Opedia is here. Uh, we'll just use the one MP costing meteor dive, honestly. That skill has been holding up this character. It's so cheap. It saves me so much time, and it does good damage. I don't need it to be like overkill. Let's see, does it have a resistance? No. It dies very quickly. Hunter leveled, which is good because he's the character most likely to die if he's got less health than Cowboy. Also less defense too. Okay. So he's getting there, I guess. Let's go up the stairs. Lucky card acquired. Okay, so we could farm one more of those if I want later. I'm getting a little worried that this feels like the boss as well. I I'm not feeling confidence in which one will not lead me straight to the boss. Let's go down the stairs then. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. I was kind of hoping for just like an immediate treasure room. Let's see where this brings us. Okay, 
Well, this tells me that we're going towards the boss, so I needed to see this earlier. So let's go back the other way then. So Cowboy leveling would be kind of funny. I don't think he really needs it. I think his damage is fine. His HP is good enough. So honestly, the bonus dungeon boss will just come down to stat check. Like, how much damage will this boss deal? And that's it. I don't feel like there's any skill involved with it. Like, our, pat our way of beating the boss is not going to change per boss. Sadly, not a lot of bosses have been damageable by magic damage since they've required us to spam AoE heal so often. So it's a little unfortunate there. Or oh, there's Roar. Get Roar, chat. Oh, Kirk Plus Plus. He's just happy to be there, chat. And we murdered him. I wish I could make her spells cheaper with items. It's kind of funny that all the other characters get stuff in dungeons except for her. Do you know what I mean? Like, Cowboy gets random, like, super guns. We get cost downs for our knight character. She gets nothing, chat. She gets the short end of the stick. So let's do this to avoid encounters. Wait, all this was to a throne room where nothing happens? Seriously? Seriously. There's not even a hidden item in this room. That is, that is such a... why? Couldn't you at least have like a cutscene up there? Disappointing. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Anyway, we're gonna use our skate action to go here. Thank you, skate action. Ooh, hopefully I bonk. Okay, good. I was worried I wouldn't bonk. See, we gotta think in diagonals. Well, I guess we'll just pretend we never did that. It would have been faster to reset, to be honest. But at least we got decent movement through there. MP's still looking really good. She's a 304 MP. I guess this is a dramatic build-up for the boss. Ooh, it cutscene me there. This castle has an elevator? Okay. Down we go, I guess. Right, chat? Sure. Alright, whatever. There's Lady Harkin. Hi, Lady Harkin. <laughs> Alright, chat. Bye. I'm getting items. Boom Getter? What is Boom Getter? What, pray tell, is Boom Getter? Is that a shield or something? What is that? You can't just throw that item at me. Protector for the left hand. Oh, maybe it's a shield? I didn't see it in here. Maybe it's his shield? I mean, it gives him a really good parry rate, but I think I'd rather have status immunity, to be honest. Unless I was taking obscene amounts of physical damage. Let's see why I would do that. I do love that we just ignored her, though. Like, that wasn't a forced cutscene. I'm just like, nah. I have to talk to you. Ambush? What are you? Uh, um, getting whipped by a chariot? Oh, it's a Durahan? I don't usually think of them with a the chariot, but I, I guess that's... Technically right. Uh, I'm just gonna assume you take light damage and just dangle you in the face.
Uh, let's continue onwards. Back up the stairs we go. Wait, was she just completely skippable? That just exits the castle? What? Wait, why? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't make me go through the dungeon again. You... Why? <laughs> but why? Why? Why was that an exit? Excuse me. Game, please. <laughs> I know. Please, somebody dot 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 that. That is so stupid. And it doesn't even put me at the exit that I took. Wow, thanks, game. I guess that's if you don't have the warp spell, I guess, but there wasn't really an indicator that- Like, we took an elevator to go down like five floors, why would I think that would bring me back to the exit without taking the elevator again? It's so stupid. I'm shaking my head, chat. Game design choices. So anyway, the boss is ignorable for some reason. So we're gonna do the same thing I did before. But remember, we then took an elevator from here, yet the other place exits us. I just think from like a, you know, a logic standpoint, that shouldn't have made us leave the dungeon. I'm just saying. Like, reminder, we took an elevator here. Did, did they forget how many floors the castle is? Like, we went downwards. We went down by like five floors and took an elevator down presumably more floors than that. I don't think mathematically that made any sense. I'm just saying. Getting actually trolled in real time. So I think we'll defeat her and we'll take a little break. Unless I feel inspired by something. So we'll ignore her. Oh, there's nothing else to do. Well, oh, I got diseased at some point. I didn't even notice. Uh, we'll ante this, I guess. Sarah MP totals are looking pretty good. I guess we'll just kill her real quick. Oh, excuse me. We're going to investigate her. Sorry. Oh, boy. Girl. I need to do this alone. Oh, seriously? I apologize for making you wait. I really don't want to see you like this if I can help it. My bloodstained hands will never let me go. It's the same for me. I can't turn back. Elmina will laugh at me. For Elmina, I shall use my sword against you. On guard, one way or another, we shall attain honor. Everything begins and ends here today. My art does not create or destroy. It's the essence of pure combat that I live by. Come, Hunter. We shall taste each other's blood for the last time. Uh, well, this fight got a little more annoying. I'm glad we made Heal Blade cheaper, by the way. Is this all you've got? It will never be enough. Let's see how much. She Let's see if she even has an item. Oh, cool. She just outspeeds completely. Love that. How much damage does she do? Okay, not a lot. That's a good sign. So she is something that I could, in theory, steal. Azrael, she shouts. How much does this do? Not that much damage. Well, she is now sadly easy compared to everything else that we fought. I'm just going to choose not to heal here until I see something else. Okay. I might heal in one more attempt. If she dies to Trickster, that would be very sad. So we'll heal after this one, just in case she has a new attack. And does double, double that damage or something. Still couldn't steal. Heal Blade. So yeah, this will do some okay damage to us, but then we'll heal like 1800. Yeah. She basically can't do anything to us. I'm just spamming Trickster at this point. So at least we made Trickster cheap. Let's see if we actually get anything before she dies. Come on. Still couldn't steal. Still couldn't seal. I think we can all just shake our heads, right, chat? It's never happening. We're gonna try to steal again. 
Arc and Tempest. Oh, that's a super attack, probably. Which did no damage. I actually genuinely think she's going to die before we get the steal. This should show... I think this boss battle will encapsulate what is wrong with the stealing mechanic in this game. She will genuinely die before I get this heal, or before I get the item. Like you get, to, like you know what? I'll even, I'll even accelerate it so we do it sooner. <laughs> Let's see, chat. Nope. I mean, at this point, if I get another secret sign, I'll make Trickster one MP. It might as well as be my main attack move at this point. I guess I'll do a trickster into an accelerated heal, maybe. That way, if she somehow still has yet another move we haven't seen, I should still heal first. Unreal chat, this move is so terrible. Well, I'm glad I made all of these cheaper. Right, chat? It paid off. So thank you, Heal Blade, for being cheaper. Went from six to four. And that does make a difference. Trickster being from, I think, also four or five down to two makes a big difference in the number of roll attempts I have. <laughs> oh my god, come on. <laughs> like, seriously? Is, is, is it just like steel impossible? I'm probably several levels over this boss. I know, at this rate. Holy, it's so bad in this game. At this point, I'm just gonna commit to killing her with Trickster. I feel like this will be something we'll bring up in the review. I'll go go watch the Lady Harkin fight, and you get to witness how stupid the steal rate is. I cannot think of a single game where it is this bad. Like, people, people have named Final Fantasy on stream before, I'm like, no, 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 no. This is so much worse. I can't even I can't even put this enemy to sleep to steal this. Whatever this is. It's probably gonna be something dumb like Secret Sign or something. So it's like not even necessarily worth the time. We were at 120 MP earlier, I think, chat, as a reminder. All of this is for tricksters and healing blades. I don't even think my luck score was bad. It was good when we left the arena, unless it went down significantly between then. So if it is luck based, I don't even think it's at the lower tier. Will I actually run out of MP before the steel attempt succeeds? And it's not like he doesn't have agility up either. Because he isn't taking like a- I don't think he's taking pure power. Maybe he is now. Oh, you know what? He could be taking pure power, so maybe that's somewhat my fault. But at the same time, like, should it really be this bad? What is it, like a 1% chance? Am I farming red ring? What's happening? <laughs> I think she's gonna die a trickster, genuinely, before this works. That's so sad. I'm not even taking her fight seriously. All right, well, I think I have to accelerate her my heal now. This is so sad, chat. I'm down to 66 MP. I've used half of my MP to steal. Wow. Wow, chat. I think we need a round of applause. Can we officially say this is the worst steal move you've ever seen? This is insane.
Again, I'm assuming she just dropped Secret Sign, but it's just like, why? Why is it like this? I mean, if I really want Secret Sign, I could just go to the arena, and I don't need to do this for it either. Because I think we stole from her when we fought her in Demon Lab. I think that was the Secret Sign then. <laughs> I think it's gonna happen, chat. I think she's actually gonna die to Trickster. And if that happens, we need a round of applause. Like, this is honestly impressive how terrible this is. Like, who knows how much HP she has, but we've been putting in the work. With our weakest damage move. <laughs> Welcome, Hellcleave. I'm glad you're witnessing this. Like, people complain about other games about RNG. Please witness. We're, we're gonna go clip this. Actually, we're not even gonna clip this. We're gonna put this in the highlighter. So you can see how long we spent trying to steal from this boss. <laughs> and then afterwards, we might check our uh, luck rating. This is just incredulous. I don't think there's a way to boost it with what we have. If we had the other characters, maybe. We genuinely might run out, run out of MP, a consideration I didn't think was possible in a boss battle with this character, considering our main move costs one. I mean, maybe I'll just use an item to heal or something to conserve her MP. That is two more trickster attempts. Sure, we'll use a potion berry, why not? Game gave me a million anyway. And then I'll accelerate another one, because why not? I love <laughs> Like, this is so sad. So there we go. That saved us, like... Four tricksters. Oh, I'm not resetting. Whatever she takes, she's taken to the grave. I just want you to witness. Congratulations, Wild Arm. You officially have one of the worst steel moves in possibly all of RPG history. I literally killed that boss with steel before I could steal that item. A move that did between 500 to 700 damage. I killed a boss that way. The boss presumably had more than 15,000 health. You know what, chat? We're, we're gonna immortalize it in the highlight. How much health did this boss have, and how much did we hit her in order to kill her? Give me one moment as we look this up. Because that is just honestly fantastically terrible. Literally zero attempts succeeded. Alright, so I have now, I've broken the not looking things up for this game. I looked up just this. She had 17,500 health. Her steel is secret sign, which we could get the in the arena in literally infinitely faster because we never got it. So it is indeed the thing that she had before. So yeah, terrible decision, Wild Arms. Why would you do this? Shame on you, Wild Arms. Shame on you. You finally look like a knight. <laughs> All we did was trick her in the fight the whole time. 10,000 experience acquired. Oh, 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 now you drop a secret sign? Whatever. <laughs> Chat, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Elmina. What is this light? I have questions too. What was that sound effect? You still don't get it, do you? That is the light from your heart. The light of the absolute power. It's the power to go beyond yourself, in order to protect the ones we love. That is the light of your new courage. Please save your strength. Please don't talk. 
Many precious things have slipped through your fingers. You are now glowing with courage. It's stronger than... Elmina, open your eyes! Here are a few words for you from the dead. I don't care how boring or terrible things get. Protect this world. The world that provided it for us to meet. I... I will not use my power for revenge. I will use my blade to... The lion idol explodes from the light. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Justine says, I am the guardian of courage. The death of the demon knight and the cry of the human warrior summon me to fill Gaia once again. Call my name for the sake of courage and you shall rise above yourself. Well, anyway, we investigated her real good. We're presumably getting another crest. Courage rune acquired. Hunter. I'm okay. Let me fight with you for the sake of Phil Gaia. She taught me that there are things in this world worth protecting. Nod your head, chat. That was a series of events that occurred. So this is just... So we still get a high number of strength points. Unless I want to do sword rune, which might not be too terrible. That would be for like when we were fighting the tanky boss, for example. I kind of like our higher speed right now, but I'm assuming if we get like near max level, I don't care about speed. This gives us a slightly better parry chance and technically a faster turn. So I'm more likely to heal blade with this character, which is how we've been using them. <laughs> hey chat, you know what ability did not deserve to get a discount on its usage? We could make Trickster 1 MP, but Heal Blade was the real MVP. We're gonna make that cost 3 instead. So we made it cost from, I think, 6 down to 3. That's a pretty good cost reduction. See, that spell earned its name. I thought it would be useless, and to be honest, it's still not great. But Meteor Dive's already at 1, so whatever. So I guess we just, uh, eek out of here. Girl, da da da. The powers of the Guardians are going berserk inside the teardrop. They're trying to tell us something. Oh, okay, what are they trying to tell us? Tears of darkness fell on the land. The damage to the rain line was temporary. It was enough to greatly weaken the Guardian's power. Also, they're chanting suddenly. The tower hidden deep within the ocean was detected by Siegfried. The technology that reached the skies. A thousand years ago, there was a residential colony in orbit around the planet. In those days, humans and elves lived together. Okay, there we go. The gigantic mechanism called Dingle, terrible name by the way, connects the land to the colony. Are we sure this isn't an East game? We already talked about Yggdrasil, we're going in another tower. We did technically- well, somebody got shipwrecked in the game, it's pretty close. The dramatic reveal of Ka Dingle, chat. Ka Dingle, the power deemed too uncontrollable to use by the Guardians, has been found by Siegfried. It's awakened through time and space to show its face once again. Dramatic lightning. Oh, that was the area I was thinking of earlier. Okay, so that did have an importance eventually. So that means I can summon the golem while I'm there to go reach the tower once I fly there. I don't think I'm going to go to Codingle yet. I feel like we might save that for next time. The question is more, is there anything else that we forgot to do before we progress the story? I feel like we did basically everything. Again, we killed so many bonus or mini bosses. Game, please. Uh, this is fine. We'll oops back to Aldehyde. We'll see if anything unlocked here. How's our money situation looking like? Out of curiosity, hundred eighty-nine thousand. I could upgrade the arm we got earlier if I'm bored, but I feel like we're not done with the upgrading of the town. So let's check this first to see if the rise of Condingle has inspired them. 
Need more money for the latest construction effort. Please, will you donate 100,000? Wow, I'm glad I didn't spend money. Thank you. We cannot possibly restore our town without the help of generous people. Okay, well, that was a big donation. I hope they don't need more, right, chat? One would hope. That's just eccentric. So let's go to the inn, then we'll leave town and come back in to get the game to reset. Magic Factory, the island. So I'm just seeing if these people have anything new to do. I wonder what a room near Rosetta Sound to the south. That's fine, we know about that. Do you have anything new to say? Yeah, we haven't fought Lucifer. Or did we fight Lucifer? I don't remember. We definitely fought Barbados. And Lalitha. Lucifer sounds like a boss. Probably in the bonus area, if I had to guess. Let's save real quick. We'll leave town, come back in, see if anything changes. So I think our goal is to see if we can get any new quests from this. But I think we'll hold off on the other area for now. We still haven't unlocked another force ability for uh, our other character, which is kind of surprising. I think we could see those offhand. We'll leave and come back. Hmm. chat. Black light that came down on us is gone. That was a close call. I felt like the world was coming to an end. Much stuff to magic. They're normal fighting and healing spells. They're more complex versions. I don't need this item to spell auto anymore. I'm a retired dream chaser. I'm going to stay in this town and grow roots. You'll have a better use for it. This item you can neutralize most dimensional magic. What? Wait, what? Did I actually get something? I was just ma I was trying to remember if I talked to everybody in here, because I went in here and I just found that guy randomly. That's kind of crazy. I, I don't think he was there a moment ago. Hmm. Maybe the 100k made him spawn? Do you need anything else or are you going to be ridiculous? Look at the pressing condition I'll hide. It's hard to believe that it was just once destroyed by demons. What would all to unity of the town, or excuse me, the people who live this town in your support? Once again, thank you so much. Hmm. So, what was... Do I have to... Did we not get a reward from that? I mean, we got that item randomly, but... Maybe I have to talk to the mayor now that we're done? We owe the vitality of our town to you and the hard work of the townsfolk. So I guess everything is back? Uh, you don't have anything new to say, right? Okay, good. Do you have anything new to say? No. Huh. Um... I thought we would get an... I, I mean, we technically got an item from it, but, like, nothing also happened. Huh. Talk to the Chancellor again? Sorry, I was actually just writing notes where I'm like, I just I just wrote basically question marks. Do you have anything to say about this? No. Hmm. Uh let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, see, they called it the Stone Mer- Okay, so she mentioned the Stone Mermaid. I wasn't hallucinating. So do you- But we finished the Restoration Committee. Is there no reward for this other than that one item? Lines being rebuilt. I feel like we should have received something. Huh. Uh. Well, I don't know if something got unlocked somewhere. I might come back to this. Hmm. Just kind of like one of those things. So I guess we have to ask ourselves, where do I think I can use this? Let's, let's sort our inventory. Let me think about this. I keep forgetting I have to hit cancel to sort the inventory, which is very weird. Um, I guess if Cod Dingle is the end of the game, we never did anything with that summoning circle, right? What place was that near, though? I really would- see, we teleported too much, I have no context. Remember there was like the giant things in the middle of nowhere? I just can't remember what town that was next to. There was like the, uh... It was literally just like a big magic circle, and I was like, what was the point of this area? Will this just lead us to a Oh, here it is. That's what I was referring to. Like, can we do something now? If I just activate it here? No? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Do I have to talk to anybody in here to get a hint to do that or something weird? sounds. Power that is derived from courage is the power to conquer the past, the essence the inner revolution, power to the power of love. So he's just telling us what we have there. Does anybody talk about the thing? Alter the wind is where everyone is prays for the west wind to bring us future. Show us the dog. Uh, so your weapons are garbage. We don't care about what you have. Um... Is there any hint as to what I'm supposed to do? I would have thought that was it. I mean, it. I guess... Uh... Yeah, they're not really giving me good hints. I guess I could bonk the dog. Hungry, but over here is a vegetarian, won't feed me any meat. Oh, poor dog. We're talking about the underwater tower, that's fine. The vanishing of over demons, they're joined hearts, it's called a miracle, whatever. I don't care about miracles. Let's go this way, talk to you. Alright, so she's hinting the stone circle is something, but I need more than that. Dog saying it, it can take on a monster. I really need somebody to do things. So we're not being given a hint so far. I can go a little ride for the wind from the west. I don't know if that's a hint for something or not. I mean, I, I will try to brute force it. I don't know if there was a hint for this. In this town. I was kind of hoping somebody here would tell us about it. Yeah, they keep talking about the stone circle, which is what I've been wondering about for a while. No, that's not helpful.
Hmm. I don't know, chat. I think what we'll do... I think we'll take a... Well... Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna mess around with it for like five minutes. If I figure it out, I figure it out. Otherwise, we'll take a break. Since I'm feeling hungry, we got some things to do. But clearly the game wants us to do something with it. So is it like... Does it not want us to use that at the altar or something? So if we have to, we'll brute force. If it takes us to like a dungeon, if it works, we will not do the dungeon today. Like, does it matter if I use it at the stones? Because they're at the circle. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. That's blue. Uh huh. Green. Red. Yeah, are you making me do a rainbow? Oh, I hate you so much. Oh. Uh, we have to form a rainbow. Color puzzle. Color puzzle. Oh boy. Well, we end with north for sure. Well, I mean, I think if I'm remembering correctly. Actually, well, that one's red. Hmm. Maybe not then. This one was which? Oh no, that's that's. Maybe that works. Maybe that works. Plus, we're kind of forming a shape with this, so this feels promising. Like I'm forming two different squares. In please. Why is this so finicky? Like, if I then go, like... This way, does it work? Oh, right, we're... Okay, that's fine, then. The colors are looking fine. And then we go... Gray for... North is definitely the last. I'm just not sure if I need to start... With the Northwest? Let's find out. Oh, okay, that was right. Hidden gates of the Temple of Illusion are now open. I was worried when I went from, like, the northwest to the southwest that that was the wrong color. But that's fine. We got there. So we're now at Illusion Temple, which sounds like a dungeon. Although, that's... Oh, is that it? Okay. I am Dam Darum. Guardian of the time space. There is one wandering soul which is not man nor demon. It does not belong to any dimension. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a dungeon. It's just a rune collection, I guess. No, it can't be. Yes, the one you love, Elmina. With her demon body gone, her soul has found humanity again. In other words, she is not completely dead. She is still alive. I may be able to call the soul and give life to it using the Guardian of Life. Wait. If possible, can you turn back the clock in her heart? Want to make her forget that she became a demon and destroyed many lives? That is possible. But then, she will forget your existence as well. You know how painful that will be for you. I know, I think. But I don't want her to carry the cross in her heart anymore. I'm prepared. Wow, things escalated quickly in that conversation. Then it shall be done. Vilgaia will have a new Almina back. If your destiny is clear, not really, the pool of love will always be there. <laughs> they, they stretched her. That looked painful. Okay. Proto rune acquired. Warriors and the sorceress. Use my powers of time space for the planet. I'm assuming it's magic related? Because we got the courage rune already? It's a lot of magic power. This one just gives sorcery and magic resistance. But this one also doesn't give generically good resistances. 
I might actually just prefer my current one, unless I'm going for spell damage. I think her being slightly tankier and faster is more important than anything else there. Because for the most part, she hasn't really been able to spell blast. If other characters had AoE heal, I would have rather done this, for example. Like, if Hunter had an AoE heal, I would have used it, but... Honestly, I think I'd rather get that little bit of response time up with small amounts of defense. We've seen she's barely survive hits. So... Oh, okay, well, I guess we solved that mystery. So, now, aside from the bonus dungeon, I'm not sure there's anything left to do. <laughs> Just random rainbow pattern, that's fine, I guess. Uh... We'll do the arena when we're, like, done with the game, because I'm curious just how easy it is at this point, now that we have all these items. We never came across any ultimate armors for the other characters, so that tells me that there's probably at least some bonus content left. I think chat would agree. Oh, actually, am I already healed? I am, never mind. So, yeah, let's take a break here. So, we never found the ultimate armor for uh, Cowboy or Hunter. We found girls, or, or if we did find armor, I don't think I saw it in here. Yeah, we got Battle Cloak, which is good. We have Hyper Gear, which was strong. Blue Ribbon we found at some point. So yeah, there's... Again, there could be armor in the bonus dungeon. But there could still be a bonus boss somewhere we haven't fought. So who knows? I think at this point in terms of items... Oh yeah, we're still missing a tool! Oh, I didn't even think about that! Where, Where's the other tool? Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute, chat. That's That might unlock some stuff. Wow, we're really far in the game and haven't found it. Huh. Very interesting. I mean, I feel like we're at the end of the game. Is it really in the final dungeon? <laughs> or like this, the literal penultimate dungeon in case that tower leads to somewhere else? I mean... Okay, maybe I hold off on doing bonus dungeon until I acquire this? I don't know. I'll think about it. I have things to think about. Well, let's take a break for now. Let's chat. So how do we feel the session went? Well, uh, the Zed battle felt horribly overbalanced. Or under... Underbalanced, excuse me. He felt overpowered. He was definitely harder than the Illusion King, and the fact that the Illusion King gives a better item than Zed is kind of like insult to injury. We saw the absolute gutter trash that was uh, the Trickster Steel move. And I think it can now go down as the Stream's Worst Steel ability, and my personal Still Worst Steel ability I've ever seen in any game. Like, people can complain about Final Fantasy Tactics Steel percentages. What was that nonsense we just dealt with? But anyway. Uh, other than that, I mean, it feels like we're at the end of the game, right? We have the scientist to fight, the Dark Knight who will be revealed to be Mother, because we already saw that in the cutscene earlier, and then that's it? Everybody else is dead, to my knowledge. We even dealt with Zed. So they're, they're, their forces are looking a little thin in numbers, do you know what I mean? So I guess we'll... Maybe, I don't know if we'll beat the game next time, but we'll probably at least explore the next dungeon quite a bit. So who knows? I'm kind of 50-50 whether or not I want to wait for this new item. I'm assuming the new item will result in more bosses, potentially, like bonus bosses. And I guess I should technically see what it is if it's not too hard to do. But we'll see. But anyway, chat, those are my thoughts and feelings about the session so far. I think we are pretty overleveled. Maybe not overleveled for the bonus dungeon, but for the main story, when you could just sit there and trickster repeatedly, we're definitely overpowered, overgeared, overleveled. So anyway, 
let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch at this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.